You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Podcariously studio in world-famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. Welcome to Living Podcariously. Zach, we have a hell of a studio this week, buddy. We do. Oh <laughs> I'm just saying. God. This is a it's been con- a while since we have this many people in here. C- controlled chaos a little bit. Um, I'm one of your hosts. My name is Adam. Sitting next to me. I am Tack. Sitting across in the wrong spot, all the way on the other side. Oh. I'm Andrea Joy. And the usual spot. I'm Jay Alvarez. All right, and we've got a few guests in studio with us this week. Uh, first off the bat, let's introduce for a special interview that we're going to do later in the show, Mr. Connor Hughes. Hey. What's up? Hey, Zach. He's an old friend. <laughs> He's I so missed timid. Him. <laughs> I, I feel like I have to at least do this once while I'm here. Okay, okay let's do it. He touched my penis with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, old school. That's from the old show oh, days. I, I use that intro as one of the, that clip as one of our intros to one of our episodes. Nice. But um, I feel bad because we have girls in the studio. Yes, we do. And I feel like they've been getting ignored. I feel like they're the safest people in the studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave them my lady chase. So let's hear it for the girls. That's right. Sitting what? on our lady chase tonight is we're going to go with Daisy. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I'm and good. this is her first time on a podcast. Mm, virgin. <laughs> Ooh, look, <how> slow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want your name to be actually used, but we have another member in the studio that's wa- or an- another guest that's a in the studio. Watching. She, guest. She's not yeah. even on the, on the mic. No, nah, she's not so. mic'd up. Just another uh, friend of the show. And then also, my boy Josh is, is sitting in with also us. Not so, yeah, also can't not mic'd. Say Kiana. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, she said no. no. Way to way to put her name on blast. Her she didn't want it on and that's why we have the okay, five seconds Kiana of silence, folks. Is not here. <laughs> Everyone ignore that. She's not here. <laughs> okay. Kiana. If you uh, if you want that edited out, I can. Kiana Ramey is not here. No, we should have called her Kiki Vanilla. It's a different Kiana. Ramey <laughs> oh God, that's such a great of. name. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki Vanilla is Kiki here. Kiki Vanilla. That makes me want to be like a you strip club DJ all over Kiki again, just so I could say that name. I know. I should have. Kiki and Vanilla. Next All right, stage. fellas, get those singles waving. All right. <laughs> hey, yo, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki, can't you just say hi? Oh. Say hi. Just say hi. Oh, God. <laughs> I have her tethered. Don't worry. She pushed the mic away, maybe because it's black. And that's what the <laughs> hand- <laughs> And that's what the handcuffs are Can we have for. a white microphone? <laughs> <laughs> she she prefers white-only microphones. Like, hi. My <laughs> 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 All it's right. So continue. <laughs> Got that wheezy laugh. <laughs> I got the, the old man laugh going. Oh. In about twenty minutes, you're gonna start dancing like a prospector. It takes only one fellatio oh. joke, and he's gone. That's it. Uh, I'm like, it's like a dad laugh. All right, I want to start <laughs> off the conversations tonight on a pretty interesting topic. So we're gonna go right. to a little bit of one night stand talk. So nice. let's first find out out of the out of the cast, the normal cast in the studio. One night stands. Tack, have you ever had a one night stand? Do you have any crazy stories uh, from it or anything like that? I do. I'm trying to think of. You better not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Connor. swore this was a secret. I know Zach probably listened to this, so I'm not going to talk about you and I. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the which story. Can we come back? Because I, I was trying to decide between. Oh, it's just a no, yes or no me. question, man. I'm sweet and innocent. Oh, you don't want to hear the no. story? Okay, then yeah, I've had one. <laughs> Sweet Jay. <laughs> All right, Jay. What about you, bud? Ah, uh, I'm sure I spent a drunken night or two that I don't r- totally recall. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, that, that's your story. That's it. Yeah, it, it's a drunken night that I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm I've I've I've, t- I've taken part in some walks of shames in my life. <laughs> I I feel like a little mini. Missy, good two shoes. Wait, what's the word? Good, good little goody two goody shoes. Goody two, two shoes. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was so. I don't have uh, any of those. I believe in love, and and when you give it up, then you can give you get it closer on the mic? When you give it up, you give it to someone good. I don't know why Connor has it right next to his penis. So, so <laughs> can get closer. So, of the hundred guys that I've given it up to, you guys were all very, very special. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. What uh, about you, Adam? Yeah, yeah. I've had a one night stand one or once or twice, but nothing, nothing that's kind of crazy story. So I was starting to look up some stories um, about one night stands and crazy shit. But you can find just about anything on the internet. Um, interesting studies: seventy percent of Americans have had a one night stand. But that's only, not interesting. Yeah, this is the only. America, this is America. This is home of the Whopper. That's what, not interesting. <laughs> this kind of falls in line with Andrea a little bit. Only forty four percent of them will actually admit to it if questioned by friends or family. I would totally Prudes. admit to it. I wish I had one to tell. I would totally make it up right now, but I, mean, I just don't I, have I one. I can't. I can't like avoid. I mean, like on any video game or like my gamer tag and stuff. Uh, my name on every game is Pussy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> But like, but like oh Pussy Slayer is always taken, so I have to do like P U Z Z Y. Like Pussy Slayer. <laughs> no, you know what the sick part is? Pussy Slayer is taken by like some 10 year old kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I hope my mom doesn't see my gamer tag. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't even realize what it is. He's just that future serial killer that's killing cats all over the neighborhood. <laughs> like, Pussy Slayer. I, I just find it hard to believe that none of you guys have a one night stand story. No, 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 I do. Yeah. Well, we didn't say we have stories. I believe in love, too. I don't do that. (laughs) No, I was a... You were dating naked. (laughs) Shut up. <laughs> yeah, no, I was a complete monster when I was in the army. Shit, I was in the army during the during the initial war in Iraq. I was like, "Listen, I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it back." <laughs> if, I got, if I got paid to be a slut, I'd do it. No That's prostitution, that's sweetie. Prostitution. See, what I did was I was just like, listen, I'm going to be stationed in Bora Bora for three weeks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be back. Uh, stationed. I, <laughs> what a dick. Well, All right. I would have been a slut if I had gone to Bora Bora, but it didn't happen. So. Stolen valor, kind of. We're like BDUs and stuff. People were like, so where's your service? Bora Bora, the Cold War. <laughs> the patches as Pussy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at our at our Halloween party, we had um Miss Daisy joined us for our Halloween party, as well oh, as okay. our other guests that remain nameless at this point. But no. anyway, Daisy not Kiana. T- not no, not Kiana. The other guest, not Kiana. <laughs> Daisy told me a story at that, which kind of triggered the entire purpose for me to want to have a, a one night stand Wait, kind of story. You were there? Yes. Where were you dressed as? A scarecrow. scarecrow. Oh, were you standing shit. like really still? Because yeah. I probably. <laughs> <laughs> like if you were out in the cornfield, I probably completely ignored you. <laughs> oh, it worked. If you had oh been d- dressed as Dorothy, you would have seen her. Oh wait, did I you take it. a picture with the two dudes, the two people that showed up, actually as crows? No. That would have been an awesome picture. <laughs> oh, I thought I that was. I, know you left I left when they before that. Like, I could have oh. been the Tin Man on my. There were actual birds that showed up. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. I missed it. Andrea, I gotta yeah. speak on the mic. If you're gonna talk it. There I'm you sorry. go. No, it's all right. So anyway, I'm excited to hear this. I'm excited to hear the story head. because Adam's been talking about it. For Adam weeks, has not shut up. Yeah, but he won't. He won't tell us a story. Yes, I have not stopped hearing about it since the party, and I've been dying to hear. it. All right, so Daisy, let's get this first. You're single. Let's let's qualify you to our our audience a little bit. You're single. Your, if you want to say your age, 20, 22. young 20s. All right, 22. Um, baby. Living in Brevard County, Florida. We mm-hmm. all know that's one nightstand nice capital of the world. Um, <laughs> well, that's because everybody dies with a meth overdose by the next morning. That's like. a good point. <laughs> and, uh, your cho- place of, uh, uh, your preference of places to go out is like the Melbourne, Cocoa Village, those yeah. types of areas, so, maybe a little bit of Orlando. So, way to give yeah. out all the information for the future stalkers. That's right. <laughs> right. They're going to come find me. We're not, wait, don't worry. We won't put a picture up there of you. They're well, and they're screaming, <laughs> Daisy! 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 <laughs> and they'll, they'll, they'll recognize you by voice, too. You'll be like, oh, and like there she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for your story, let's set the location roughly. It's just like a downtown. It was Melbourne. Downtown Melbourne location. All mm-hmm. right, so you and your girlfriends go out, and your goal is just to go out and have a good time and maybe meet some new people, right? That's the intention at the beginning of the night, right? Yeah, a friend that was visiting, she was talking to this guy, and that's how I met I met his friend. Oh, okay. So that's so where it all started. A always, friend of a friend. It always starts friend with, of a a, friend. with a, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, God. The guy, so I will spoil one thing. The guy is not the problem in the story. He's actually, I mean, he's a scumbag for some things, but he's a, it's a good, it's a normal guy. He's a normal guy. He's actually a okay. lawyer, too. So he had money. Oh, lawyer. <laughs> that's why I made you, uh, give me that verbal release of your audio <laughs> yeah. tonight. You're so right. You're right. I don't get sued. <laughs> Um, no, all right. So, uh, take us through a little bit. How did you meet him and how long did it take for you guys to really work up the, the chemistry between the two of you and the club? I mean, how did, how did that go down? I mean, I was pretty drunk when I, I guess it, it started. Um, 
Always kind of a all time. a blur. <laughs> that would be roofies. Where are you at a party? Or oh, so no, we were at the bar. Just at so a bar, was the bar there. yeah. So I guess after a couple <laughs> more drinks, <laughs> we were making out in the bar. Oh I yeah, all right, taking it up in the bar. A little PDA <laughs> with a brand new guy. That's kind of cool. Was a good looking guy. He was Scale a him. Eh, that doesn't he mean he's look like, good looking. He wasn't like the greatest looking guy. I give him like a was seven. He, was like on a scale of seven. one to Ryan Reynolds. Where was he? <laughs> <laughs> How many like, drinks did he buy you? Honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know. Sponsor. <laughs> and did he buy your friends drinks? That I do not remember either. Oh, you never ignore the friends. That's the number no. one rule. You never like ignore said, the friends. It was a crazy night. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't care what she looks like. I was like, hello, beautiful ladies. <laughs> Would you guys like a drink? <laughs> All right, so take us to the point where he made, I assume he made a move, or did you make the move? How did it, how did it go down to make the decision to want to go back to a mutual location? Well, at first I didn't want to go back with him. I was like, no, this is a bad idea. I probably shouldn't. So he asked you, he said, hey, you yeah, want to go like, back to my place? Yeah, like, you want to come back to my place? So it was and a then... weak dose of roofies. Got I it. I swear <laughs> I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he drove, which is, I don't know why I got in the car with him, which is absolutely insane of me. Uh, we went back to his house. Girls are always like, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've never I done why. this before. I, know why. I don't you're know. 22 and you can. I guess. Oh no, we're I totally not. Yeah, reason. we're totally not judging you for this. I mean, I'm, I'm just as big. I was you under- 22 once. Yeah, uh, you understand. I'm still 22 the- on some websites. See, you got to be careful though, because like, there's two types of guys out there. There's normal guys, and then there's like serial killers. That's there's guys. <laughs> Like, you gotta be careful what car you're getting because there's guys that want to jizz on your face and guys that want to wear your face. <laughs> that's a good point. Thank you. That's a very good that's yeah, a very As soon good as point. you get into the car, the first question, would you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she asked him? Wait, I'm confused. All, all I'm the afraid. wild horses are playing as soon as the car starts. <laughs> um, so, so you've made the decision to go back to his place. Yes. All right. So let's paint it a little bit further. Lawyer is what you found out during your, you know, between kissing him at the bar time periods. Yeah. So lawyer, usually stereotypically pretty well off guys. Did he have a decent car? Pretty nice. Yeah, and he ride. had a nice ass house too. Uh, see, there you go. <laughs> All right, all working out so far. So when you get in the, his house, when you pull up to his house, his like mom isn't there or something. It's actually no, his no. place. It's just it's his place. Uh, okay, that's good. All good signs so far. That's pretty cool. Okay. So uh, did he have kids, pets? He had a dog. He had a dog. dog. He had oh, a dog. okay. We really, have a dog. Really cute dog. He was not oh, nearly as cute, cute as our dog. our dog Oliver. Oh though. no, never. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, did he immediately turn on the action at, at the house, or did he like wine and dine you a little bit more there? Get some champagne. Get some wine. No, maybe some, some Mario. Kart. It was more like drunken, immediate. Immediately like, too. Yeah, it happened as soon as we got there. And he's nice. older than you. Yeah, I'm guessing. I think he was like, like a lot older. Yeah, I think he was like 30. He didn't 30. even try like. To... Whoa, 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 whoa! No, whoa, whoa. actually, I think can we, 30. <laughs> can we ease up on the a lot oh, sorry, older? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you eight two. years older is older than her. 30 would be a lot older. I actually think he was like 33. I God, think. Damn it! But he didn't like Fucking offer you a drink citizen. when you walked in. What no. the fuck? What a whore! <laughs> Not you, him. Into the mic, into the mic, baby. <laughs> Um, all right. So just right straight to it. Let, let's, let's test something first. Was he, you know, at least wearing protection? Is that? Yes. All right. That's a good sign. That's, that's good. That's always <laughs> yes. a good rule of a one night stand. <laughs> that's, that's good. You can't leave the evidence behind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, before we go further, did you know this was going to be a one night stand kind of deal or were you hoping that there could potentially be more with him later? He's a lawyer. She I was mean, hoping there'd be more. <laughs> maybe a little bit like be cool if like we kept talking afterwards. But he was know? only, a, he was only a seven out of 10. So he should yeah, say, like, eh, wouldn't really hurt her feelings if there was. Yeah. Honestly, like in Florida, like a seven's like pretty good. Like yeah. if you've ever been to LA, like everybody's a fucking ten. So when you come back here, listen, it's like a seven. Listen to like, Connor. If you've ever been to <laughs> LA. <laughs> no, for real? It's like, <laughs> I'm, used to, I'm used to walk around in Florida and it's like, you know, like being like a moderately attractive dude. I'm just like, yeah, this is all right. But like when you go to LA and like everybody is like a Chad, like yeah. everybody's got washboard ads. Like, Chad. Suddenly I need to like actually like. <laughs> Like, you know, step it up a little bit. Like, hi, yep. my name, I'm Connor. This is why I'm interesting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but as a successful seven, that automatically bumps you up. 
in Brevard that County. That's true. He's a- I mean, you can oh, have all you can have all your teeth in Brevard County. He's and a be, successful, yeah. has his own job, doesn't live with his parents, has his own car, license, all that. So the seven and looks bumps up to like at least like an eight. There's a catch. Now. I'm love, sure there's a catch coming up. I love how you guys all amount a, like success to just not living with your parents. <laughs> yeah. Like, welcome, welcome, welcome to Brevard. Nice. Like, Meanwhile, Josh just picked me up from my dad's place. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll be going home to sleep in my dad's garage. <laughs> wow, I'm I must be a, like a ten. <laughs> I live on my own. Yeah, you're but you you've got an asterisk, you're a ginger ten. It's a little uh, different. You're a dick. <laughs> all what right, does so that make me? Let's focus a ginger twelve. Um all right, so let's focus back on, on one the lawyer one night stand. So okay. how was the sex? I mean, because you guys are already there. Was it good sex? How was how was the experience? Honestly, Take me through it this. wasn't really that great of sex. So, like, no foreplay, no... It was a little bit, but I feel like I just wanted it to be over. Like, I was kind of, like, done. I was drunk. I was yeah, like, yeah, I just wanted to go to sleep. Like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> like, it was just, I wasn't feeling it. You know what? I missed a, a pretty important part of this story. Yeah. What was, wh- how were you dressed? What was your attire? I had oh. on wedges and... Wedges. That means nothing to guys. We don't know what that means. Like, heels. I was wearing oh, heels. heels. I pictured oh, okay. you wearing blocks of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and, instead of I having, pictured like, somebody's underwear being heel, pulled up. <laughs> The heel connects to it, so it's like a. Like a oh, good, like a wedge. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We totally so you were totally. you were wearing building blocks. <laughs> Got yeah. it. All right. Okay. And I just had jeans on and just like a tank top. He was actually okay. obsessed, kind of obsessed with the shoes. He was like, "You look so hot," and those, "You look so hot." And oh no, not a so foot he fetish. Had like a foot fetish. I don't Uh-oh. know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want to do something unseemly to your toes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we got the outfit, we got the the decor of the guy. He's got a nice house, nice ride, nice profession. So he's got, obviously got money. He's got his shit together. That's important to a lot of girls. Yeah. A guy that's got his shit together, at least you know somewhat monetarily wise. <laughs> I mean, it he's means enough because she said the sex wasn't that great, but it would have been cool if they kept talking anyway. So it's like he's got his shit together. I'm willing to deal with some subpar dick. That's like point. maybe it was just <laughs> drunk sex, like drunk sloppy sex. Could like, you feel maybe? it though? Oh yeah, hung like horse or <laughs> that's hung like, like the big thing. If you could feel it, he was like average. He wasn't average. like it wasn't no, like wasn't small. Impressive. But it's just, I don't think he knew how to, like, That's dragging the seven down. He's yeah. dragging it down. I know. Success isn't going to cut. cut <laughs> All right. So I after. Wanna, she said it does not work. You're like, I want to start, like, <laughs> dick boot camp. That's <laughs> 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 well, actually a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> like no no you need to keep a consistent speed it's the only way they get off you don't <laughs> want to gas yourself out too early son <laughs> don't fly out of the gates at Mach 5 it's not going to work you don't want to use the same dummies in the class though never guys go to a boot camp how to use your penis in a woman that's right make sure you do your dick ups it's not going to work. They don't know how. Well, he needs a female. Go. He needs a female assistant. Motherfucker, it's like Amazon. I've got ratings and reviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think my word's pretty credible. Have you not? Have you not? I'm sorry, I'm not heard of Yelp? Connor, you are a beautiful <laughs> guy with beautiful blue eyes. Girls are going to tell you what they want to on those reviews. They're going to tell you what you want. <laughs> All right. So let's get back into the into the the evening. By the way, just a right. reminder: the name of the show is Living Podcariously. So we're trying yeah. to Podcast. hear. Yeah. We're, 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 not living vicariously, Connor. <laughs> living podcariously. Oh, shit. Oh, so it just is. because it was one time. <laughs> yeah, I've been on this show for a couple of months. I, I thought it was vicariously. I, I really... I want to hear Shit, I've been wasting my life. <laughs> All right. So so we're in... The sex is done at this point, sex right? Sex is done. All right. All so right. sex is done. It was quick. One time... Mediocre. One, once and out and you're done or cuddle time? How, how did this how did I it work out? I think he tried to cuddle with me and he tried... He actually, in the morning, he did try to have sex with so me again. So you spent the night? all night. Oh, that's yeah. important. Yeah, that's I stayed all night. Oh. I was yeah. drunk. I was tired. I just fell asleep. And you said hell no in the morning? You weren't interested? Yeah, he tried to have sex Do you with know me in the morning. I'm like, we're sober now. What? Do you know how many times you had sex that night? I don't know. Probably just like... I don't know. Probably like 50. I don't know. I don't you know. <laughs> if it had been bigger, you would have felt. It was bigger. once for me. It was like six times for him. <laughs> <laughs> he videotaped it. I don't know. Oh Something God. online. <laughs> All right. Actually, I have a feeling she didn't get off one time. Nope. Oh, that's, that's a damn like, shame. You know, no. Give the guy yeah. some fucking credit. She was drunk. Like it's not like she it's not like it it's out. been easier for me. <laughs> you can get off. No, I no. When you're trying to get a girl off, off, like 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 in, like girls know this. Like when you're trying to get a girl off when she's sober, it's mm-hmm. a little bit easier. But like. You know, when you're trying to get a girl off, when you're drunk, it suddenly becomes like fucking Mission Impossible. Yeah. Dum 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 dum. When she's yep. drunk or when you're drunk? Uh, fucking balls. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Girls can get off when they're drunk. Like I said, he I didn't mean, know how yes. to work it. Yeah, it's this isn't it's like exactly. 
sorry. It was yeah, just so. Yeah. This is a fault Girls of the guy. Girls can get off yeah. when they're drunk. Just we'll just blame it on him. Know. All right. So you spent the night. That's a pretty important question to ask. So mm-hmm. you slept over in his bed, cuddled or not, whatever, drunk. But you were about. You, you woke up in the morning and you needed to do the stereotypical walk of shame, either out to your car, back <laughs> to the cab, or or whatever. Which is you leave the one night stands house and you mm-hmm. walk to get yourself back to your real life mm-hmm. and forget about the evening. So. You did your walk, and you go back to your car. You make it back to your house and 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 whatever. Well, and is that the end of the story? How did, how does it go? What happens here? I had to get dressed in the morning, and I okay. couldn't find my underwear. He's a he's an underwear <laughs> so thief. My underwear gone. <laughs> I went home without any underwear. He had to drive me home. Well, he didn't actually drive me home. He drove me to his friend's house, where the rest of my friends were. His, so, his friends are his friends. <laughs> yeah, like they were all. Oh, wait, yeah, he was a, he was a friend of a friend. You yeah, said right? He was oh, okay, a of okay. A friend. That would have been weird if that would have just worked out <laughs> yeah, randomly. Like, <laughs> hey, wait, what? <laughs> my friend was talking to his friend. Oh, okay, so okay. she would. They were already there at his apartment. So we all met back up there. So y'all are all hanging out with these old dudes. Oh wait, let's take it back to when I woke up and I was looking for my underwear and there was girls' shoes on the ground. Uh oh. That wait, were wait, not wait. mine. Women's shoes or like little girls' shoes? Women's shoes. Okay. Like high heels, like tennis heels. shoes. Were they like... pumps or flats? Yeah, does, does, or does Chris Hansen a... need to be involved? <laughs> <laughs> Wedges? It was Wedges? a variety. It was a variety. I don't know what any of those are. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? That's so pretty... yeah. like friends are with your friends. Uh huh. His friends are all like old guys hanging out with all your young friends. Yes. Got this. A bunch of perverts. <laughs> Not necessarily. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Let's Why, about you the shoes? Shoes? Why are old guys perverts so, automatically? <laughs> I didn't say anything about the shoes. I'm like, whatever. Just fucking take me home. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Were there like pictures on the wall? No. Stuff? There All was right. nothing on the wall. So I leave without any underwear. I get back to my friend, whatever, where all my friends were. And they're calling me like Melissa or Michelle. I don't remember which one it was. So but your and your name's obviously Daisy. Yes, yeah. my name is Daisy. Yeah, and your <laughs> friends are calling you this, or his friends? They're my friends are calling me that because apparently he had a girlfriend, and that is her girl, oh. his, her girlfriend's name. Shoes. And so I had a one night stand with a guy who then has a girl, has a girlfriend, a living girl. A what? A live-in girl? Uh, obviously, yeah, I guess are there. so. Yeah. In her bed? Aww. Uh-huh. Oh. So he cheated on his girlfriend. That doesn't make you bad in this story at no, all, by the way. I that had no idea. Sense. Yeah, that Like, makes everybody him. told me, they were like, he should have told you, like, if we would have known that you were going to go home with him, like, we would have told you before. Right. Like, that, so yeah. he's just an asshole. <laughs> Total asshole. But the story gets better. It gets better. Oh. It gets better. So oh, I yes. don't talk to him after that. I don't, but I'm, my friend was still hanging out with his friend. So we were hanging out a couple days later, and he tells me that the dog died that he had. Oh, dog what? Died. So the dog died. What kind of dog is it again? Do you it remember? It was a Labrador Retriever. A- oh, okay. Oh, no. Big lab. And they all knew that I didn't leave, like I didn't find my underwear. So apparently the dog died <gasps> from an obstruction in his <laughs> intestines. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's not funny, Jay. <laughs> it's funny that a pussy killed a dog. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. That's funny. So but they didn't I say like know. what the obstruction was. I feel like that's something like if you knew what it was, you would say what the obstruction was. Like yeah. you don't just call it an obstruction. Like, what was it? He obviously ate something. Like so they all think that. Well, if it was panties, like he probably was trying to hide it from his girlfriend. He's like, oh no, babe, it was, it was like some ob- obstruction. <laughs> yeah, like it was, unidentified. It was a, <laughs> yeah. If your underwear is missing, it's the only place to get a gun. So, moral of the story is: don't cheat on your girlfriend, or your dog is gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's oh, what I love it, love it. It's karma, karma. <laughs> That is a fucking awesome moral. <laughs> Oliver's <laughs> life is in your hands, Adam. Crazy. I guess so. I felt so bad too because the dog was so cute and like he was innocent. He was like young and, and healthy, you killed him. and I killed him. Oh. What color was he? Uh, golden. Golden. What was yeah. his name? Labradors love underwear. I can't see the name. The dog's name? Yeah. No, yeah, because that'd give away. Give it away. It was Goldie. We're just gonna call the story Goldie. won't like. There's a bunch of dudes that have this story. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was like Daisy. Spike or Sparky. Like how many fucking? It was it's like the dog's name was like Travis, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Like I never thought that. Is. <laughs> okay. no, unless that is the dog's actual name or some shit. Like it's some weird. Name. I don't know if it's a lab. What's the dog's I name? Mordecai. I had a You've black a lab, lab, and he would eat all my underwear. No matter what, if they were clean, brand new, he would find them. If they were Victoria's Secret, <laughs> otherwise he didn't give a shit. 
But if they were Victoria's Secret clean or dirty, he ate them and they would disappear and they'd be gone. Do you send him a bill for how much you're out for those panties? <laughs> right. Like, I, they were Victoria's me. Secret. They're pretty expensive. I think you should sue him. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a case. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I, I'd want to sit in for that legal brief. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh, God, I feel dirty doing so that. So when they asked him, like, hey, bro, how was the ass last night? He was like, killer. <laughs> <laughs> we are the master really of puns. Sucks, Daisy. <laughs> I know. I felt dying. so bad. But so you know wait, what? you? I felt bad. More bad for the dog dying. Of course. The guy, he had it coming to him. What a fucking asshole! He went and helped her like move her stuff or something the day after. Like I remember, all of his friends were telling me like that he was still like he did probably and didn't he tell didn't her anything. Say her name one time. Nope. That he had. A I don't even know her. Like was seeing anyone. Nope. Didn't say one no, word. That's not, not how guys get laid. Guys <laughs> oh, before we jerks. do this, let me tell you about my living girlfriend. Uh, you don't have her name's Vicky, and I don't. I don't. Because they're scary. <laughs> because they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I've been broken. <laughs> Daisy, that was a fantastic story. <laughs> wow. I, I definitely. I. You, it was so hard not to tell these motherfuckers this story because of how good that ending is. He's it had an so erection hard. for like the last two weeks, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't all Tom Van. Like, <laughs> I, I've been like some of it had to do with the story. Party. I've not heard the story. It's at a good all. story. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. it's an unfortunate story for the dog, but yeah, they're surprisingly as kids and dogs because I had no idea where the story was going. So, <laughs> note to everybody out there: stay away from Daisy. <laughs> yeah, she'll Wait, kill your dog. Yeah, your fucking no. dog. I killed dog. No. Oh, we were worried about guys trying don't to track you down. <laughs> your girlfriend. Right, right, right. And don't cheat on your girlfriend. Yeah, especially with Daisy. Especially with Daisy. If you have a dog who eats right? underwear. Right. Don't cheat on your girlfriend if you have a dog who eats underwear. With Daisy. Isn't that the moral of the story? Yes, all yeah. that with Daisy. With but Daisy. Some, some guy like walks into his apartment with you, and his dog is like, "Hey, yo, you want to like, <laughs> can we, like reconsider?" <laughs> the dogs start growling at you. Soon, I heard, I know what you did to my friend. <laughs> now, oh my that God. maybe that's why they smell the butts. I, I smell granny panties. That's what they're doing. They're smelling. Oh. That's, that must be it. All right. They wouldn't eat granny panties. It's too much material. Uh, we are going like to take sexy underwear. All right, we're going to take a break in studio. When we come back, we're going to have a very special interview with our buddy, Connor Hughes, VH1 dating naked star, as well as American Ninja Warrior and Sci-Fi's Exit. <laughs> All right, I got it right that time. Um, well, the first time, because that was the second time. Right, you know right, what I mean. right, right. All right, we'll be back in studio in just a minute. Hey, it's Adam. If you enjoyed the content or the cast of Living Podcariously, be sure to check out the other show we produce. It's called The Twisted Ten. Each week, a host or a guest host takes over the show and brings their own unique and original top ten list to the show. Here's a few examples. Top ten crazy religious practices. Top ten sexual fetishes. Twisted Guinness World Records. Top ten possible human extinction events. And my personal favorite, top ten best or worst infomercial products. As you can see the content is all over the place for the show however it is a lot of fun to produce and we hope you like it as always thanks for listening dj gil lugo is bringing back the old school just for Welcome to Living Podcariously. Uh, during that break, you were listening to a little bit of DJ Gil Lugo. We put his uh, his information in the uh, show notes, so if you want to check out some of his music, he's on SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, all those places, so you can go get some of his jams. But, uh, all right, Tack. <laughs> let me, sweet, up, sweet jams. Let me get ask some of his jams. Let me ask you a question. Does he can them himself? His jellies. <laughs> yes. Jamesy you ain't ready for this jelly. Come on, what movie? <laughs> what movie? What? What are we talking about? Wait. Spaceballs. I didn't hear. We, uh, oh, <laughs> we've been jammed. Raspberry. <laughs> uh, I missed that sweet little ass. 
<laughs> so who me? Whoa, who who was that? Stop it! Who was that? Speaking who of our that? next guest, well, uh, I can't tell if Tax Blushing or if he's just burnt from the sun. Oh, he's. Uh, I went and checked the mail today, so I. Got oh well, that's a third degree. I get it. <laughs> ginger lives matter. Hey, that's our word, not yours. <laughs> I'm dating a ginger. I think I have the right to say it. Uh, no, that doesn't give you a. Co- that doesn't. No, give you a ginger I, I have ginger card. friends. I have, I have friends fine. that are black. It's okay. <laughs> I have ginger I, friends. I've dated a lot it. of black guys. That doesn't let me walk into a basketball court. Everyone, stop. On with the show. <laughs> <laughs> she's wearing her policing up. She's oh, wearing her boss pants. Abrupt subject change. It's, it's the nude spot she's in. She's not in the lady chase tonight. I know. Uh-huh. Now I'm in like this like pink she's director's a, shirt. She's in a position of authority. That's anyway. What I hear an extra voice <laughs> on yes, the show. Yes, we have so. an extra one. I'll lead into him a little bit. Tech. Do you watch any reality TV? Oh, I have watched one recently. Is it the one we're ta- here to talk about today? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I only like watching reality shows where people are naked. Okay. I don't think there is hmm. any like that, though, is there? That's porn. Only, <laughs> only if they <laughs> just because they don't pick her, just because they don't actually take her home, doesn't make it reality. I'm not prejudiced against porn. I love porn. I support the naked hustle strongly. Total supporter of porn. Everybody's the same height in bed. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so no, for for this little reality TV segment, uh, we decided to bring on a good friend of the show and uh, also a reality TV star. We've got Mr. Connor Hughes. With us. Right. And he is a return guest to our show. He was on before we did our little reboot. Uh, but since then, he has gone on to bigger and better things. He got so famous, sir. Connor was on, <laughs> Connor was on season three of Dating Naked. That's right. out, and that was held out in Bora Bora. Is that right? Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, Bora Bora. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a gorgeous place. That go sounds like day. a really good way to get something you can't get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Bora Bora stays in Bora Bora. <laughs> not, not necessarily. Well, it depends on how strong that shot of penicillin is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but Connor, Connor isn't uh, uh, only tied into Dating Naked. He's also done a couple of other shows you guys might know, like American Ninja Warrior. Ooh. He, he starred in one of those. As well as uh, Sci-Fi's Next episode or next exit. show exit yeah why well, fuck that all up then i <laughs> little bit sci-fi's exit so uh, wait do we yes. have to refer to you as connor son is that like a connor son <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's fine <laughs> i tried to think of something witty and quick to say but it just it wasn't there yes, slipping, man you're slipping i know so we've Long got some game. we've got some limits on what we can and can't talk about on there so if we ask a question that we have to strike for some reason for production purposes for VH1 or something like that. They just let us know. We'll, I'll just we'll edit I'll it out. Scream no, really we, loud. We won't really edit, any, edit edit anything out. It all stays in. You should squeeze your balls at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, number one, how long ago was it? When did you go out there and do do the recording of this? Yeah, I get that question a lot, and I honestly blank out every time. I think it's been um, since I've been back. You know, adjusting civil, uh, civilian life. Yeah, um, it's been <laughs> clothing about, life. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> six months, maybe. Okay, when I was out there. Wow, was yeah. that long? I yeah, it was, was a while ago. Yeah, when he first came out, said he was going to do it. We were in our old house in that old little studio. Yeah, so. I remember that. Yeah, when yeah. He was talking about going out there. Yeah. Yep. Back cool. before. Mm. Back in the day. <laughs> back before you got naked. I mean, I was. Still, so still getting naked before that's that. That's my biggest thing is like, <laughs> Quite a bit. how did it feel like when you just walked out there and you were naked? <clears throat> um, fucking weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like when you first show up, you uh, you're not allowed to meet like any of the cast members or anything. But you show mm-hmm. up and uh, like you just like the crew is there, like the production team, and like you're <laughs> you're in your clothes, so, like. I have poor, like, you know, situational awareness, so I'm wearing jeans and fucking Bora Bora. I have, like, jeans <laughs> and, like, a button-up shirt, and they're just like, okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Hughes, right? Tell us a little bit about your background. I told them, like, all right, cool, we're, uh, we're good to go film and, uh, film your section, uh, your segment. I'm like, all right, cool. And they're like, um, okay, go ahead and get naked. And I'm just like, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, there's, like, 40 people clothed, um, running the production, and then just me, like, my, so, so it is porn. Naked. Yeah, essentially. It's all porn. It's like, I'm naked and it's like, I don't know why I feel like I'm cold. I'm like covering everything. I'm like, hey. And like, you know, you're about to be on camera, right? And I'm like, yeah. Like, you're you going to complain probably. you're cold and bore bore. I was going to say, <laughs> that's not an excuse but then, there. But then I like, I own that shit afterwards. I was just like, you know what? No, this, this island belongs to me and my penis. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing, what, what, they couldn't just let you cover it up. I'm assuming. I mean, it's it's network TV. They're gonna blur it out anyway. I mean, is it really that essential that you're actually naked for it? 
Uh, Social yeah, experiment, yeah. Yeah, because like when you when you first meet her and you're naked, like it definitely does add a whole new dynamic to like the whole first impression thing because you have no um, external um, like voices. Like you, you can't dress a certain way. That's right. pretty, like, it's like it's just you. It's just raw you. So like you can be talking to someone who's like goth or someone who's like, I don't know, whatever the fuck else. And you have no idea. Like it's just like it's how you present yourself, you know, yeah. um, without all that physical bullshit so and then also like it's like you know your dick's out and stuff so like, <laughs> so you're basically thinking of oprah winfrey on a cold day like constantly yeah like, and, oh, that's uh, that's jay's go-to to kill a boner is yep. oprah winfrey everybody likes day. to think everybody thinks baseball i don't i don't like see i think like shotgun rusty pickup truck like herpes <laughs> yeah but i mean that me. sounds like how i make most of my bad decisions i don't think that would stop anything <laughs> like, oh that's like last truck. thursday all right so how is it different meeting a girl Naked versus be- meeting a girl clothed. Um, eye contact becomes a challenge at first, <laughs> <laughs> especially with her. I mean, she was super cute, man. I, I well, watched the show. So, yeah. how does just for listeners that don't know, how does exactly does this work? What's the point of the reality competition? How right, does it? So, you've got a main dater named David, and you've got the main dater named Natalie. You ma'am. dated David? Yeah, David was <laughs> awesome. He's so great in bed. Um, no, but yeah, uh, there's the two main daters and. I think David gets like 20 women and Natalie gets 20 men. And what happens is she, uh, so the first day on the show, they go out with each other. And then after that, Natalie gets a guy, he gets a girl, and then all four of them go back to the house. And then the next day, same thing. And then all of them go back to the house. Um, and then eventually it goes on till there's eight people at the house, both their three daters and then themselves. And then, uh, the next morning is elimination and she eliminates two guys. He eliminates two girls and they have what's called a keeper, the person they choose to keep. Everybody stays inside like a, it's, it still looks like paradise. Like people would still pay to stay there, but it's much lower scale, um, mm-hmm. than anything else. It's like just like a little cast house that everybody stays in. Mm-hmm. And once you get, uh, the keeper status, you get promoted to like this big villa type, you know, <laughs> oh, place sweet. that's really nice. So like the keeper house. Yeah. yeah. The keeper house is actually exactly what it was called. Yeah. So they have Andrea, when, when we decided to make things real between two of us, that made you a keeper. So I moved you into the house. See how that works. Oh, you should see the other so house. He has like two or three cute. of the girls. <laughs> yeah, the other house. I've got some other other girls. I need some kitty litter to vomit into. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so disgusting. So, so the girl, so the guys that go on, you and these other guys that are competing are, are competing for the attention of one girl, and vice yes. versa. The girls that go on to compete are competing for the attention of one guy. And yes, and sometimes there is some cross contamination where like. One of his females will hook up with one of her males. <laughs> I nice. saw that. That's I what saw I was that. wondering. I was like, he what if one out. of the other girls is hotter than the original girl? Which definitely happened. Um, he got called. So out. that might answer a question. Was there some fucking on, you know, oh, behind yeah. the scenes kind of stuff? Oh yeah, there was, yeah. There was some fucking. And it was not behind the scenes. It was they showed it. <laughs> they oh, show yeah. it. No shit. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't watch all of them. I watched a couple of them that you were in, but I don't remember seeing fucking in it. Our yeah. our, our cable doesn't let us have that channel. <laughs> What was uh? What was that guy's name? Oh, you're too high class. What was that? That bromance. You had a showman's on there with uh, what's his name? Zach. Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach. You two were adorable. Oh, he's. You know, I told Natalie. He seemed pretty cool though. I told Natalie, I was like, please don't eliminate me so I can stay with Zach. (laughs) 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 I was like, Zach, I have a keeper room. (laughs) Stay stay with me in the keeper room, Zach. I'd keep you. (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. That was adorable. You too. So what kind of, what kind of prep did you do for this? Like I would have I would have spent like a month at every nude beach I could find, just desensitizing myself to everything. Like I would have spent all my life in South Beach, just like mm-hmm, practicing the eye contact. Yeah, I'm going nothing, to, nothing exists from the shoulders down. I'm going to imagine his preparation was manscaping with tweezers. I'm just saying. Oh, wait, is there a w- also, is there a also yes, also that yeah. would have absolutely been done. Is there a way to work out your penis? Because that's what I would. Yeah, about. you just uh, you hang a wet towel from it and then do pickups. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, haven't you seen that video for Schwarzenegger? He tied a he tied a weight to his neck, to his cock, and he like <laughs> did a squat with it. That's how I do. She's like, "Oh, your penis is so vascular." Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, in any of Hashtag you guys vascularity. have the guts? Would you guys have the guts to do that? Yeah, I, I would. I, I don't exactly um, look like Connor, but I would go out there and do you it. Just, you, out, just have to, you just have to not give a fuck about anything. That's what kind of me. <laughs> oh, I give a fuck about way too much. No, <laughs> no, no. No, but yeah, I don't like seeing myself sir. naked in the mirror. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. I, what about a bubble bath? You want you want to take a bubble bath with Connor? me and naked in a bubble bath? Oh, All oh. four of us? 
I, I think I think Andrea just wrote the picture for the cover for this episode. Though. I feel I feel <laughs> like I'm gonna have to take. All of us in a I'm gonna have bag. my own little Kim cover shoot now. I'm not. I don't <laughs> like where this is going. What's funny is like the all the things I did on the show. I mean, obviously, I get blown up on social media, but there's one thing that I said in particular, and it was in the bonus scenes, like in the bloopers reel. And there's one thing that I get the most shit for, or the most comments towards. And I was on the show, and I publicly said. That I would fuck Ryan Reynolds. How would you not? Though? I don't Hold think on. that's gay. That's not <laughs> gay at all. Like, Natalie was like, you'd fuck Ryan Reynolds? I'm like, uh, I think any dude would. She's like, yeah. really? I'm like, straight as to the straight. Would it, Ryan Reynolds would fuck Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, and would. she was like, yeah. And like, so many people are like, would you really fuck Ryan Reynolds? And I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not going to answer that. Because <laughs> did did it's obviously that, yes. Did you see that Family Guy episode when he was on there? Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> no. What he was like, he had like on? a romance with like Peter on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like super, oh he he did that he was but totally he, into Peter and it was awesome he reprised that role in Ted oh did he if, if you see the movie Ted he uh him and uh oh what's his name um he was on oh. Seinfeld I'll never remember his name now but yeah <laughs> Ryan Reynolds played a gay dude and he was having a you know a gay romance with uh <laughs> with um I'm Mark Wahlberg's Mark boss at the rental car agency. <laughs> How come I don't remember that? So would it be weird if Ryan Reynolds asked for all of your behind-the-scenes, unedited, and unfiltered footage? Um, Because on the line with us right now... No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Because he's, hi, buddy. (laughs) Our boy boy Ron that uh, listens to the show is a huge Ryan Reynolds fan, too, so he's... He's he's there with you. He's all over it, yeah. Yeah. I think it's it's completely straight to say, as any guy, that you'd fuck A, Ryan Reynolds, or B, Fight Club Brad Pitt. That's just... yes. Yeah, absolutely. Those, are, those actually probably make you more straight. Like, there's yeah. nothing. Not the only thing more masculine than saying you'd fuck Ryan Reynolds or Brad Pitt is like Chuck Norris eating a steak. That's like the only thing I could think of that's more masculine. I want to sit down, have a steak with Chuck Norris and Ron Swanson. Mm. Oh, I just want to know. <laughs> Ron Swanson, yeah. Ages. Oh, what were the ages on the show? I think the youngest person was maybe 23. And the oldest? 27? No, that's not true. They had the old guy on there. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was like 60 something. (laughs) They had a a 60 year old guy? Yeah, Yeah. he was. I never met him, but that dude was fucking killer. He didn't make it very long. (laughs) No, no, it was mostly like just like a, I don't know, just something to make the show interesting. How long does your typical person stay on the show? One day. Uh, Only one day? Mm hmm. Were yeah. you on for one day? Oh, you can't say. Um, I can't specify, but. Um, oh, oh, that's true. Can you say you were on more than one day? I will say. Can you say, say you were a keeper once, maybe? I will say that I was on a multitude of days. A multitude of days. Wait, there hasn't you the show already like, been on? Yeah. Or you got an award? Well, it, yeah, it came on in the U.S. It hasn't aired. It just started. They're about halfway through in the U.K. right now. I can gotcha. bl- I can block the U.K. downloads for this episode until it finishes. Why would you want to do that, though? It. Yeah, because that, that's going to eliminate point. so much audience. <laughs> kind of kills our ability to. <laughs> yeah, <let's not> do <laughs> that. We've got that's a big, good point. The UK's big, yeah, big UK's, following in the UK. UK's okay. It's about uh, half a percent of our downloads, especially it's if like, they want to hear what. Kind that's of okay. Say, I like you know, the taboo. The show. You know what True. I could do? Um, what I could do is just like you could tag me in it and everything and post it wherever you want and say I was in it. I just won't share it on my wall because VH1 watches my wall like a fucking <gasps> hawk. So I just won't big share it on my brother. wall, and we can say. Things. We want okay. you to share it on your wall, though. Yeah, we would, we contract, would want you to. Contractually, he can't. Yeah, I don't want you to get in trouble. We're using you, Connor. Because I got paid like, <laughs> but they'll sue me for like. <laughs> and, I mean, everybody knows all you have to do is incorporate real that's quick that's all you get for being fine. naked you would have made so much more money being a prostitute yeah but you <laughs> know like, like she speaks from experience so i got paid like a, um a good chunk from doing the show but more so it was like the inexpenses like if i were to plan a trip on my own for the amount of weeks that i stayed yeah. in bora bora it accumulated to about 27 grand would be the the cost of the wow. trip. The room I stayed in uh, alone had like glass floors so you could see the water underneath. Oh, no. And that room, like if you want to rent it, is like three grand a night. So oh, wow. I was wow. like, I could never afford this. And how long shit. were you there all together? Uh, quite a while, three weeks. Is that okay to say how long you were in Bora Bora? Yeah, I think very shut. Yeah, because that's pre- that counts pre production and everything. Yeah, that, that I was counting okay. everything. So just your whole entire trip when you left home. Yeah, and you know what? It's already been shown on U.S. television that I lasted three weeks, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was there. I I survived three eliminations. But how long Sweet. Were you, did you have to leave right after you were eliminated? Like, yeah. So oh like, God, they're so yeah. fucking cutthroat about it. Like, there's like, no like say goodbye out. to the rest of the cast. It's like 
as soon as she says your name on the chopping block, it's oh, like... Oh, you they, literally leave they, from right there? Yeah, they already... Yeah, that's not fake. Like, they already wow. went in your room and put your shit on the boat before oh. she... Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. So, like, immediately I was like, can I say go ahead? No, no, bro, go to the boat. Go to the boat. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, man. Like, I have so many things I want to say. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's pretty much like it's immediately... Like, so it's like, okay, you guys are dismissed. And you walk away. It's like, you're ushered straight to the boat. Holy so shit. So, what did you do wrong? Um, I think my... Were you all like creepy like that one dude was? <laughs> Which creepy. one? Uh, I don't remember his name. The blonde now. one? I don't remember. Some, this one guy was just like a stalker and just like creepy oh, fuck, as hell. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. What did she look like? <clears throat> she was cute. Oh, the girl? Was um, she jealous of you and Zach? I have, I have did they get that one shot of you episode. looking longingly back at, at Zach? I have to wait <laughs> like, for the whole episode. They, like, they got the shot of me and Zach like... No. <laughs> so hand on the how, glass. How much of his reality? Like, first of all, like the guy David. I thought he was an awesome, dude. Like, he seemed really cool. Yeah, I actually, um, I you just went to the him? awards assembly, um, reality TV awards in in L.A. and mm-hmm. got to stay in a hotel with David and Natalie. And David's cool as fuck. Um, yeah, he seems really cool. Yeah, he like I said, super uh, he, nice guy. He yeah, cool. he's like exactly how he is on screen as he is off. Nice. Like he's, he doesn't like play a character. That's good Come to on. hear. Is that that's the two right? The like David and that's them. All right. So that Andrea is the girl and the guy, the main girl and the main guy. The main girl is what was what were you just saying? Why, why are they covering up her boobs and butt? She didn't have one. They showed her butt on the show. They showed everybody's butt. Yeah, you can see her. Well, yeah, I you was watching. Just, you see how she just got instantly judgy though. Yeah, <laughs> instantly. I'm a woman, screw her. I was uh, I was watching the show with my wait, daughters. Wait, who is this chick with the big boobs? Uh, it's another. That's like a random promotion for something. That might be an old. Th- I just did a, a search for dating. Naked. There's like this is dating naked. You get to see chicks with big boobs, and then no. <laughs> you know, it's not all about boobs, Andrea. Sometimes people fall in love with personality. That's mm-hmm. right. Not on dating <laughs> <Fucking> naked. <hippie. laughs> it's dating naked. I was watching the show with my daughters, and I told them that uh, Connor was going to be on there. You know. And uh, as soon as that, I was like, "Oh, there he is!" We finally, your you know, your episode finally came on. You watched Connor Nagy with your daughter, yeah. And they were so like, "So for the DCF, got a cute butt. <laughs> if I had a daughter for every time a family has come together and watched <laughs> <That's> me right. <laughs> naked, me and my well, really, it was just one of my daughters. So I mean, she's she's almost eighteen though, so it's all good. But oh it was like, "Oh, he's got a cute butt." Don't tell Connor that he'll he'll be on there. I know pretty, he will. on that phone number pretty quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's so mean. You can call me Dad, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. So Papa, I prefer Daddy. <laughs> So oh, since baby. dating me, Call me naked, that anyway. how has your dating life been? Uh, it's been good. I um, it's actually fucking weird. Um, like since I got back, it's random messages from people I don't know, like from all over the country. Like you were my favorite, blah blah blah. And it's like, sorry, that was me. Yeah, <laughs> I saw all those <laughs> fake accounts you made. <laughs> um, but like you can't. It's impossible to respond to everybody individually, and um, a lot of it is just like you start to realize like the slut count in the country because like you like I'll open up like my Instagram messages or like my Facebook messages and it's just like this starting the start of the conversation is just like a titty pic and she's just like oh, hey like I thought you were the best on the show like maybe we should talk and I'm like <laughs> are we going to completely ignore <laughs> what that message what what happened what just occurred before <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> like she doesn't even bring like attention like do you like these she's just like hey you're my favorite maybe we could talk and I'm like but is that how do you greet everybody like that? Or? <laughs> you, sh- you should respond back with a picture of your dick and say, no. I should have like a blurred <laughs> picture of my dick. <laughs> no, no. She sent a boob pic. You send a boob pic. Which, by the way, the guys on the editing team on Daily Naked definitely did me some favors in making that blur mark <laughs> bigger than it needed to be. That was my next question. You just beat there's, me to it. There was, a, there was a couple times where I was like, all right, that's about four inches longer than it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard some uh, blurb about... Uh, Possibly next season, maybe? You're going to get called back? Uh, I don't know if we could talk about that, but I'm just curious myself. I will eventually be making a return to reality TV um, on multiple shows. Oh, nice. Whether or not that's Dating Naked or not. Okay, all right. Way to, cool. way to, way to dime out his future plans there, Tack. Yeah, no, you yeah, no it's like, I'm not like an <laughs> evil kidding. genius. I'm not going to tell you my plan right before I kill you. No, I, I'm <laughs> sure yeah, everybody yeah, said that. You break break out the angry sea bass. <laughs> you're clearly, freaking laser beams. You'll clearly just escape and then foil all my plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I just heard something about maybe uh, since you were a favorite on there, maybe mm-hmm. you would be the next David for next <laughs> season, you know, kind of. Yeah, a thing. there's actually, um, on VH1's wall, uh, there's. Actually, a lot of fan requests for that too, which was surprising because, like, 
you know, I didn't have a small part on the show at all. Yeah, you that's did? Good. Well, you that's because the CGI, that's you the CGI said, is good. No, you guys did in the thing. Oh, you see what you stepped in? There were no small parts. You see what you stepped in there? So, no I, small I, parts. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, there was, there was a lot of people saying like, oh, he should be like the main dater next year. And I was like, every time somebody did that, I would say, yeah, that'd be great. And like tag VH1 in it. And I'm like, hey, you guys saw that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tag it. You get paid more then? Bag it and tag it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you're gonna take me to dinner if I get you on the show. Oh, how quickly that turned. Um, <laughs> Adam, who? No, I'm good with yeah, it. I'm, free I'm, I'm good with it. I'm, I'm all right. I'm after free food. I know her intentions. Go too. It's a free <laughs> she, dinner. She's looking for a sponsor. I don't have to cook. If you want pot roast, I made some. Sponsor. Yeah, as long as you order off the dollar menu, we're straight. <laughs> I always order the cheapest thing. McFish. <laughs> all right. So we know that there was some fucking on the show. Oh yeah. Either on or off air, whatever that was. Uh, did you get involved in any of the uh, shenanigans or shenanigans? Shenanigans. Thank you, say, sir. Yes. I would say I kept my dick in my pants, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of hard to do that. Yeah. You kept it to yourself. Uh, without <clears throat> pants. Um, but no, no, I didn't fuck anybody on the island. All right, the uh, whole time. Not even Zach. Okay. Uh, there was, did, there was some intense not? eye gazing, but no, no fucking. You, I fucked the hell out of him. How yeah. did you not? <clears throat> Are you a guy after more? Uh, I just, it's weird. Like, I just didn't. Like, um, I may or may not have had some opportunities, but, you know. Um, that means may. I when, find when, you, when, you, <laughs> <laughs> when you do reality TV, it's like you're under a microscope from, like, anybody who's watching the show. Every action is, like, documented and people will have something to say about it. So, um, I've seen on reality TV shows, like, the guys who do fuck people, how they get, like, crucified on Facebook and stuff. So, I was just like, you know what? Yeah. I'm not even going to, it's not worth it, like, just to. It's Adam would have done smart. everyone there, <laughs> <laughs> including Zach or whatever his name was and stuff. All like yeah, them. sea life. There'd have been sharks. a bunch of holes in the There's sand that everything. have been. That's that's where I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you also got to display a little bit of your parkour skills while you were on the show too. So you were doing some flippy flips and some you know stunts and shit like that out there too, right? Yeah. Did that uh, help you? You think in your show, or did that eventually hurt you? Or no, I think it helped because like at first I think she thought I was just another character, like. Oh, it's a crazy flip guy. But then, like, when me and her actually talked and, like, uh, became friends and stuff, she decided to keep me around. It's like, I don't know, like, if it necessarily was a romantic connection. But, I mean, I think it's the fact that me and her, had, like, had a good friendship right away. And then, like, the other guys that came on were just kind of cocky and stuff. Kind of guys. Just, yeah. yeah. And, like, she just, like, rather keep, like, a good friend around rather than an asshole. And it's unbelievable when you start actually being a person in front of somebody instead of a character that it works. Yeah, it's there's more unusual. There's, there's a little more than the backflips. Yeah. So that's probably where your audience is more intrigued to see you as the main guy because they want to get to know a little more about you. You should be a show writer. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, okay, so that's a question I've always had because I, I, I do write and I've always wondered what kind of writing actually happens in reality TV? Like, how much of that is actually scripted if you can go into it? Yeah, it's... um. Every show's different. Um, I can only speak on the behalf of Dating Naked, but Dating Naked is not scripted. Um, you show up and, uh, I mean, I, for, from what I can see, everything was pretty much legitimate. Um, you know, like every now and again, like they'll relocate you. Like, hey, you guys want to go swimming or something? And like the, stuff like that. But, like, so they'll put you in a situation, but everything that happens is just... Is, is real, yeah. Like, okay. I'm, like When I say put in a situation, it's like it's not, I'm not revealing anything that the public doesn't already know. Like we start every night at the bar. Mm -hmm. um, we eventually end up in the pool. My kind of party. Yeah. Oh God, I drank so much in Bora Bora. <laughs> it's like I literally like one of the production team like off camera. He came up to me, man. And he was like, "Dude, like you have not been stopping. Like you have not stopped drinking whiskey all day." And I'm like, honestly, I am afraid that the accumulative hangover will literally kill me. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like since I entered this island, death has started walking towards me. <laughs> so I just need to keep drinking whiskey. <laughs> Connor made up for any additional sponsorship money by partaking in as much of their alcohol as he could. I yes. understand that. I was in Vegas when you were in Bora Bora. And you just start walking around with Jim Beam t-shirts and shit. <laughs> uh, I was actually surprised to see that how much of it... Like, like, I didn't think you guys would be allowed to wear clothes at all, but there was a lot of times where you were wearing clothes. Yeah, you can wear clothes? To them, it's it's essential that we all meet each other naked because every night of the, at the bar, you're, uh, you're meeting somebody new. Yeah, so, and then you go on that date. Yeah, so like the first meeting of people needs to be naked. Mm -hmm. And then eventually it's like, you know, they can put on bikinis and stuff. And I mean, I, mm -hmm. I for the most part, just stay naked because I was like, whatever. <laughs> How long was this shoot? Like from the beginning, the first girl, when she started until the end of it, how long was she there? How long was the season? 12, 
12 weeks is 12 episodes. 12 weeks? Yeah. Okay. So, it's a girl question, but you might know. So, what do the girls do when they're on their period? Uh, I know. I like <laughs> They just wade in the water just for a lot of time. That's waiting for sharks. Did not get into that. I no didn't. strings or hanging you down. You didn't think of that or ask talking. them. It wasn't. So, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like I come up, I do like a naked side flip. I get drunk and I'm like, so, like, what do you guys, like, <laughs> do on your, is, that, is that like a shark hazard or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, I saw a bear rummaging around last <laughs> night. Is it true that they can smell you? I've, <laughs> I've noticed like increased raccoon you. activity. So, uh, none of this was brought up the entire time. We just best completely pickup ignored, line ever. Like, we don't no. think about stuff no. Like yeah. Probably no. not on the people, top of yeah. People talk more about like boners and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, I need some girls from the show to ask. I mean, I'm pretty sure the women probably at one point had a conversation like, "Oh my god, I just realized what the fuck are we supposed to do?" But I don't think that's a conversation they had with the dudes. Like, <laughs> I'm just I don't know wondering they if they're tucking in. their strings just up like, in their lips. Nah, you know, just like every just, scene. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like Roman Empire. Just throw some sand in there or something. Right? <laughs> That's what they do, right? That's Rub some dirt on it. You'll be Come fine. Come test it, please. Fill my crush. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, so uh, you guys got nominated. And I know you kind of alluded to this a minute ago. You guys got nominated for VH1's Daddy Naked for a reality show award yeah. out in Hollywood, out in L.A., right? Yep. Yeah, and Hollywood Boulevard. You guys went. And you went and did the whole the whole spiel out there. Did you guys win your award? Yeah, we won uh, the award for most uh, unique idea or most unique concept for a show. Most boners oh. in any show. Yes. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. no, that's cool. That's really <gasps> cool. Boner ever oh, in a did show? you guys ever cross streams? Um, all right, so I got <laughs> two questions. Literally, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And one was did, was there boners, and one was when did they cross streams? I think that sometimes those can go hand in hand. Yeah, that's a good point. But, oh, they can definitely. Um, go there was oh, I get. I see what you did there. Yeah. Hand mm-hmm. in hand, or hand in gland. Oh, I like that. I like that even better. Y'all are going into guy talk. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you were just talking about fu- putting sand in vagina. Well, that was me, but like that you're talking is. about periods. <laughs> way to deflect. Way to, way to <laughs> I'm a woman. I can talk about periods. Oh. It's a very curious okay. question. That's your word. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my word. I forgot my question now, though. Boners. Yes, boners. Oh, oh. Boners. The boners happen. <laughs> she keeps it classy. <laughs> she keeps this classy. Boners. <laughs> um, yes, yes, sir, Connor. Were there any boners so present? My genitals it? remained um, surprisingly flaccid the whole time. However, there was a couple times where I know <laughs> a shit ton of whiskey will do that to you. <laughs> 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 That's why he drank the whole time. Yeah, just, Connor's like, down. stay down, boy. Go, 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 go. Stay down, boy. <laughs> well, like, I actually, um, there's one guy I immediately, <laughs> I won't say my name, but I immediately hated, uh, like, just right away. Just such a fucking cockbag. So I lied to him. I was like, dude, did you, I did a lot of research about, like, dick size and stuff before I came out here. And he comes up and goes, oh, yeah, bro, what'd you learn? I'm like, if you pull on your dick real hard, like, by the tip for at least, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> Stop. It'll, it'll, Stop. Use, you got to use lotion, too. I told him, I told him like, <laughs> the elasticity in your muscles will actually increase the size <laughs> for at least 12 hours. So I'm like, if you do it before we start filming, you'll be set. And he was like, fuck, dude, is that a real thing? I'm like, dude, like, I Googled it. It's on the internet. And he was like, yeah. it. <laughs> so like, this motherfucker, like, before every shoot was like, just tugging on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, and like a couple times he did it on camera. Like I'd be talking to him at the bar. He's like, "Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, yo, pass me some whiskey." And he's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, "All right, oh. you, like don't fucking do that when I'm talking to you. That's not okay. Like do that in your own time." But, but like, yeah, he ended up pulling on his dick the whole time, and uh, he ended up giving himself. He was like, like well, right before elimination, he's sitting there. I mean, he's just fucking wailing on that thing. <laughs> Like, I felt yes. I felt bad, like <laughs> just for his penis as an individual. I felt bad for it <laughs> that I did that to it. But oh, that's I, funny. Like, he ended up walking up to elimination like just full mast. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I was like, hey, I'm, if you're gonna go out, you gotta go out strong. Like, if you're playing with it the whole time, it's gonna get up. <laughs> I was like, I'm just happy that I was responsible for his humiliation. Like, you're <laughs> responsible for that boner. He, he kept awesome. like crossing his hands and putting it over it, and, like trying to. Trying to like, just conceal oh. his dagger and like it wasn't working. <laughs> conceal weapon. Yeah. He need oh, a permit for funny. that. I don't know if it's yeah, if it's under funny. 22 uh, caliber. You can, you, can, yeah. you can carry it openly. Uh, so uh, you 
Wait, did you get your question? We six, had a boner question. What was your question? Oh, I was just eating shit. Say, were there any crossing of the streams, Ray? But that, yeah, no, they're fine. All right. Uh, did you? So you guys accepted the award, and I kind of saw ahead of time for this, but you were one of the ones behind the mic actually saying thank you for the award and all that shit out in Hollywood, yeah, right? Um, That's kind of cool. You don't know if you're going to win or not, so you don't really prepare a speech. So when we went up there, it's like the microphone was just right there, and everybody was looking at us. So I was like, <laughs> "Fuck it, all right, like." Hey everyone! Blah, 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 blah. Like just said some shit, and then like uh, Chris from last season, he was there. Chris and Carrie, the two main daters from last season, were there, and Chris grabbed the mic right after and said a little bit too. But yeah, it was just like you know improv, like on the spot. And I pretty much all I said was just like, "Hey, like this wasn't the suits we were supposed to wear. We were supposed to wear our birthday suits, but there's children here, so it's probably best." <laughs> <laughs> nice. And was that was that televised? Um, no, it was like a, a stream online, like a oh, live okay. uh, stream on their website. <laughs> You know, it was cool. pretty cool. So, Andrea and I watch Big Brother. Do you guys, is anybody yeah, here like watch Big, Big Brother? Brother? Yeah. All right. Big so, Brother, my, you don't watch Big Brother. In right? Soviet Russia, Big Brother, watch you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 1984. The number two, the runner up for the champion of this last season on Big Brother was a guy named Paul. And the character that he portrayed <clears throat> on the show was a really cool character, kind of like a punk slash metal dude, you know, whatever. Really nice guy, but really, he played the game exceptionally well. And I'm watching some of Connor's pictures that he's uploading on Facebook. I'm like, holy fuck, that's that's Paul. So Connor uh, at the award ceremony, because that was another reality show, they were there as well. So he chilled with Paul and a couple other celebrity name drops that we could probably throw in there. But I thought that was cool. I'm a big fan of Paul it's out there. Super yeah. Cool. yeah, he was he, our favorite. Uh, Paul, after the thing, we went to the after party and Paul came with us. And then he came back to our hotel and hung out. He's, uh, I mean, he's another cool fucking dude. Like, just like chill to hang out with. And, like, it, it helps too that I didn't really watch Big Brother. So I didn't like know entirely who he yeah. was until like we started talking. And, uh, nice, no, cool dude. That what I was supposed to be moving to LA before long. And, uh, he lives out there. He said, you know, I got his number. He said, we'll come, we'll get some drinks and stuff. Cause he's, he's <gasps> cool. pretty cool. So we can come hang out with Sweet. you and hang out with Paul. He was uh, our yeah, favorite. Right? <laughs> it was my first season to watch it. Oh, really? Yep. I haven't really got into it. Adam got me into reality show. As odd as that sounds in a Yeah, I never watched show. reality TV until like they called me and they're like, hey, you're doing a show. And, and I'm like, waiting right. for Hulu to put your show on so I can watch them all at once. So I've been avoiding <laughs> everything. So now you haven't given away anything. It'll nope. be all new. No, we don't know if you won or not. I'm just um, impressed that there's all this stuff so you don't really get to see anyone naked. So it's kind of. You get to see butts. I mean, that's pretty cool. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> to who? Connor's got a nice ass. If you like looking at guys' asses. Oh, yeah, that's T- take your pants off, show her. Show her. I don't no, know how I see the good stuff. <laughs> you you dance for her. No, I've taken my pants off for you too many times. <laughs> I guess I'm that's done. a good point. Yeah, I guess that's for now. <laughs> uh, all right. So are there any other reality shows in your future other than Big uh, uh, other than Dating Naked? Have you thought about a, a auditioning for maybe you Big Brother or some of the other brother, ones? Brother, yeah, I've got um, some other things in the works. Nice. Talking to some people. <clears throat> um and more than just reality TV, I've got some um, uh, like web series type stuff, and then uh, some this this part I'm really contractually bound, but um, some popular movie franchise uh, surrounding superheroes. Okay, all right, understood. Okay, so that's, that's cool. Uh, that's cryptic enough, I think. I think I think I know what that means because you know who's ready to retire from being this certain character in Hollywood. Ryan Reynolds. Superman? <laughs> no. <laughs> look look at Connor Teenage and the, look at, look at the beard. Indiana Jones 6. No, no look at the beard. Oh. Look Santa at the, Claus. Look at the, now just imagine <laughs> if he held up his hands and there were some spikes coming out the front. Freddy Krueger. Connor, oh, Connor, oh, <laughs> Connor could be your next Wolverine. Am I not getting oh, Wolverine, all right. I'm just saying. If I, I have like to cut that out, let me know. Okay. No, no, no. Just gonna, like, <laughs> I like the Santa Claus Freddy Krueger. I know. I kind of see you as more of a Black Widow. Uh, <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Catwoman. Cinematic Capital Black. Cinematic Supergirl. Oh. Uh, He's got baby. But like, as long as he identifies as a baby. woman, then it's fine, right? I mean, if yeah. Caitlyn Jenner's taught us nothing. <laughs> Spider Man. You know, I've Superman always wondered, like, can I just walk in the women's bathroom and when they all scream and they're like, "Oh, what are you doing in here?" I'm like. Chill. I'm a fucking chick. Like, <laughs> I like and then, and then I yell at them. Just be, like, just be like, you guys are like so not progressive. You guys are judgmental. You, you can't, can't. You can only do that in Target. Don't do that in Florida. You yeah. can't get away. <laughs> you can't get away with that because you walk in there, chill. I'm a chick. Like, no, no, no. We saw you on Dating Naked. We know. There's enough. Know there's enough it's mothers. recent. Coming out day happened right after Dating Naked. <laughs> there's enough when mother is in this county that they will kill you. But if the cops, if the cops come up, I'll be like, dude. It I'm doesn't a chick. matter. About 
not cops. I'm the cops sure. are most likely no, though. The cops are under the microscope more than most people, and they're like, "Oh man, we it's can't the, touch it's, him. It's, he's a he's a mothers. chick." But you're also white too. It's the so they're allowed to shoot you. That's yeah. true. They can shoot And me. also, no, when you're lucky, you walk into the women's bathroom, there's going to be like six other dudes in here going, yeah, people say, oh, damn it. People, <laughs> are say, people who say white privilege. I don't privilege, know if it's chick, too. People say like white privilege. I'm like, motherfucker, are you kidding? Like nowadays, I'm more likely to get shot because they're like, <laughs> hey, you know what? We can actually shoot this guy and nobody will say anything. Like, <laughs> Wait, have okay. you guys seen the thing with the um, safety pins for white people to wear a safety pin because they're an what? ally to all the races? What? No. What? What? Okay. Did you just start the race war over here? What's going on? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I have no Did idea what I that is. Did I dream this? Maybe you dream. That's my line. That sounds like is a fever real? dream. Did you just say, did you just start, I had a dream in is like, with okay. to bring up racism? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing it backwards. Uh, I don't have to look that one up. No, because our other guest who's up next is, she said she heard about it too. Or Awkward. who we heard from earlier in the... No, the, she hasn't Awkward. been on. Awkward. Well, in the show, we in heard the, from the, her already. Yeah, in the, in the strategy of the Remember, show. Remember, we're in so the little behind the, the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Well, beers. if you guys would give the women all a microphone instead of all the men microphones. <sighs> uh, Connor really identifies what we're going with this. Yeah, I, I, He's got I'm a check no, now. No, no, so. Connor is fine. He can She's have a one. microphone. I'm talking I'm about the other three guys in the room. Oh. Well, okay. I see. He's a celebrity. I guess we're done. I guess so. He was naked. He can have a microphone. If I, I, get naked naked. Naked. I mean, myself? if you come in here naked to do this podcast, you get a microphone. I come in here naked say. all the time. I'll get naked now. I've stumbled around South Beach <laughs> naked many, many what times. Kind of I don't remember what any kind of them, but I'm is sure. What is going on? <laughs> so see you Let's take a break. <laughs> We're getting out of control. All right, let's actually Everybody wrap up. get their clothes on. We'll take a break. Okay. Let's wrap up with Connor. Uh, is there, let's see. Trying to think if there were any, um, there's a thousand questions that I'm sure we're going to have for you after the show is over. That's fine. Uh, so how can people get a hold of you on your social media? Just at Connor Hughes on Facebook or Instagram uh, or any of those? Facebook I, I avoid because it's already yeah, yeah. too much traffic there. Um, you on the Twitters? But, uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter. It's just Connor Hughes, C-O-N-N-O-R-H-U-G-H-E-S-V-H-1. And then on Instagram, it's just Connor Hughes, again, uh, underscore VH1. Those okay. are the two main social media cool. outlets that I use. And I'm not going to give my Snapchat away because um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking nightmare last time I did that. <laughs> nice. Like I, got, I got like, first of all, like, yeah, a bunch of like boobs and stuff. And then um, a shit ton yeah, of fucking dick pics. Those. A lot yeah, of dick pics, really? Yeah, yeah, a lot of dick pics. I got one guy that was like, <laughs> nice. are you gay? And I was like, no. And he's like, are you bi? And I'm like, again, no. And he was Here's like. Here's a picture. He was How about like, now? He was like, sure? He told me, he's like, if I pay you five grand, could you be gay? And I was like, no. <laughs> I will suck a dick <laughs> till Monday for five grand. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, won't, I won't be gay, but I, I will happily consider my principles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. Five thousand dollars. Yeah. You can't change your, your, you know, your essence, but you can Is that, suck a dick. Like, it, was just, like, it was like, it was like, is this Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds gets a freebie. Hold on. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're good, bro. You're good. Come on in. Both <laughs> comes. I know what you mean. And whichever. Yeah, Ryan in. Reynolds. Um, <laughs> you're you're going to be hopefully in the here near future on one of our friends' podcasts out of Orlando. Yep. That's uh, the Tom and Dan show. So anybody who listens to us and also listens to them, they'll probably have a little bit more organized type of interview. But uh, good luck on there. Uh, name drop us as much yeah, as you can. Say, name uh, drop. Oh, yeah. What I was just on Living Vicariously. <laughs> so, yeah. And I'd like to give a shout out to the guys. Yeah. They, they've been real great. <laughs> yes. oh. And girl, and girl. The, 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 well, the boys the guy back in the like, bar. Yeah, it's like the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm, like I'm, I'm not even they, they do this. I identify as a chick and I'm still going as one of the guys. So. <laughs> they, they do this one show. Then you're it's like not identifying living as a lady. Living somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty living good. Bi- living bi- curiously. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Found it. <laughs> uh, damn, I never heard that one. <laughs> I think we should trace Connor for the... The whole symbol. Oh, Instead of the trace. Oh. oh, draw no. him like one of Actually, our French girls. You know logo. what? That's the a really logo. good point. So our logo for Living Pod, curiously, and I don't have any. I don't think I have it anywhere in here. Is uh, uh, a female, a beer bottle with a female figure that's silhouetted inside. That, yeah. That's Kim Kennedy's figure. We used her in the photo shoot for it. She came and posed for our shoot. We did it, and then we did some silhouetting to it, and that's her bot. Maybe we should have. Andrea might be onto something here. Maybe we should have a 
male model is sideways, a silhouette. Sideways. We'd have to change the if whole introduction. Real guy if talk. Well, that's a good point. Is, like, a good if, point. It's, if it's sideways, Thanks for grounding us. if it's sideways and I'm naked, like it's going to have to be a panoramic. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they can add the... the uh, we saw the show, buddy. You. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw the show. You can't lie. Nice try. <laughs> yeah. They didn't see the show because it was blurred out. There was, you know, I really there don't was, mind that idea. That's kind of a cool idea. There was one dude that came on the show and he was like... uh Talking about how big his dick is, like off camera and everything. He's like, "Yeah, man, I got the biggest dick on the island." And I'm just you like, "No, we can see." I'm it, like, right? and like the thing is, like, it wasn't by any means true. And I was just like, "You know, you're naked." <laughs> <laughs> like that shit only nice. works like in. Oh, this always works in the club, <laughs> dude. Back no, home. okay. So the so okay. So the weirdest story I've got. Uh, I'm a vet. I was in the army, and uh, when you first show up to basic training, they have you in the in these barracks. Is like. Yeah, like 150 dudes, like in one room, oh, and you're God, just waiting. So hot, yeah, oh, so hot. <laughs> yeah. And you're just Uh-oh. waiting to process in. That's all you're doing. You're just doing your paperwork. They're shaving your heads. They're you know dressing we you up like a tree. Days in my boot camp. Days. Yeah, because you were in the navy. No one cares. Um, <laughs> so oh, you're a theme in? in the navy. <laughs> when the what, <laughs> so what happened is we had this one dude. Like you, it's base showers. It's like 15 dudes in the shower all at once, and it's locker That's room t- rules. T- typical Saturday night. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and it, it's locker room rules. Shoulders up, you, nothing exists. This one dude walks in with a third leg swinging between his ankles. Johnny Uh-oh. Pendulum. You can't help but look and admire. You have to like, dude, what is going on Fucking down? Thigh and it's, it's not even gay <laughs> at this point. At this point, <laughs> no. it's just morbid curiosity. Like, do women run from? And he's there, Captain Morgan, dancing his ass in the shower. <laughs> just like, that's right, I am the king of all I survey. And we're like, dude, do women run from you? In horror. Matter of fact, the only yeah. attention I ever get is when I'm in a locker room full of guys <laughs> and they're asking me about it. <laughs> you know, any, like, did any of that ever forward, happen? He, he could use it as a fucking kickstand. Yeah, he's just like, point. but um, <laughs> yeah, let, yeah. Me take, let me take some stress off the legs. But um, <laughs> yeah, there was actually I wasn't there for this, but there was apparently some dude that just had a massive dick, and I was just like, you know, like. Thank God I wasn't there for that because you know it makes me look better. But <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like one of the uh, the production team, they were the wittiest motherfuckers. Like, they, I actually went on there and one of the guys was like s- focusing the camera, and I was like, "You got your wide angle lens, right? You don't want to miss anything." He's like, "I'm not worried about the lens, homie. I'm making sure the zoom is strong enough." And I'm like, <laughs> well, "Damn!" Nice. And then, like this one guy, he uh, he was like the cast wrangler. Like he hung out with us on camera and off camera and stuff, yeah. and. uh that dude was running his mouth about how big his dick is. And he was like, I was sitting down. And he's like, man, man. He's like, Natalie going to pick me because my dick's so big. And like the one of the production guys goes, wait, biggest dick on the island? He's like, yeah. And he goes, Connor, stand up. I stood up and he goes, hmm. And just walked away. I was nice. like, oh, thank you for that. I wish that was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a uh, technical question about the show real how quick? How big's your dick is what he wants to know. <laughs> no. no, I'm just kidding. What, uh, what were they shooting on? What uh, cameras? I believe it's red. Red cameras. Oh, I'm not nice. sure which one. Maybe yeah. like, I, uh, I don't know. Red Scarlet. Red Epic, something. maybe. Yeah, red Epic. That, yeah. Nice. Something nice. like that. Okay. Nerds. I They'd have to shoot me in <laughs> IMAX, <laughs> baby. I wasn't sure if it was like a Canon, like, you know, 5D or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, you know, Mark II, of course. They were shooting sure. on all HP webcams. This is <laughs> yeah. iPhones. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck depth of field. We just, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. I've got the slow mo thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> But I can make it sepia. <laughs> look, look, I can slow it down and you can see the mosquito give you Zika. <laughs> <laughs> Were the bugs bad out there? I don't know if we covered that at all. There was, was, a... there was like no bugs. Really? It was oh, so nice. Nice. It was paradise. Yeah, just dick in the breeze and nothing trying to Damn. tear it up. The only thing you have to be careful about me is sunscreen. I've never had sunscreen in my dick before. Oh, there was that one dude that was <laughs> fucking burned like all the time. I was like... I feel so bad for that dude. Yeah, dude. Like he was one of my people. Your dick will turn into like a little red pepper if you're not careful. Like, <laughs> Mine will? Because the thing about Bora Bora is there's a hole in the equator right there. And the heat is different in Florida. Florida, you feel the heat. Like you actively feel it. It's in the air. The humidity is high. And Bora Bora, it's so crisp and dry out. And like hmm. doesn't – you don't really feel hot. But you burn at like such an, like, an alarming rate. So wow. like, you know, like you walk outside – to get your towel and you come back and you're like, ah, like you're all red. Holy and like shit. my first three days there, I just didn't do anything to my dick. And then like woke up in the morning and like went to go scratch it. And it was like, oh, you burned your car. Oh, that's a mole. That, that was, is a, that's a bad <laughs> place to get a burn. No, 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 it's terrible. So, and like, have you ever like, it's weird applying sunscreen to your penis. Cause no, it's, it's not. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> I was like, do I do like a two finger dab method or do I just like 
lather up the palm and like just get like the whole circumference <laughs> like was, i don't know uh, don't so the, the audio of that was good tack but the visual in studio was where it was really <laughs> at all right i'm just saying that was just for you <laughs> I, was like, I was like the kid from pete's elliot from pete's dragon learned how to paint a wall just up and down <laughs> like daniel son daniel mr son. miyagi yeah, yeah. Hey, you go. show me sunscreen show me penis. paint the fence <laughs> show me sunscreen penis <laughs> <laughs> is that how he got the yellow car at the end of the movie <laughs> I see now. Uh, I we see. gotta wrap this up, man. We gotta wrap this up. This is getting right. off the rails. Uh, Connor, thank you for coming in very much, man. We appreciate it. You know, you're a guest in here. Is anytime you want to come in, friend of the show. If there's anything you want us to do that can help you out on social media, or if you're trying to get into another reality show and you need some some kind of attention from uh, fans or something out there, just let us know. And whatever we can do to help, we would love to do. So, um, just you know, if anybody listening, just go ahead and follow me. That helps me out tremendously. Like any sponsors that I have. Um, and any gigs I've gotten is actually, I get contacted more so through Instagram than I do on my work email. Oh my anything. god! And like I've I've been sponsored by a couple like clothing companies and um like sports companies and stuff, and they sponsor me strictly through like Instagram. That's how they contacted me. Gotcha. Like, it was like through so you know um Instagram is 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 huge for me in in this career field. It, it's weird that nowadays like a career could be built through your presence on Instagram, which is like completely my, it is kind of shocking. Yeah. But it's like for entertainment as like an upcoming stuntman or actor, it's like if someone clicks on your page and you have like 400 followers, they're not going to take you seriously. But if you have like 13,000, that's that's actually true. Uh, When I was, I used to be in a band in Jacksonville and we met with uh, Atlantic records because we were trying to get a record deal. And one of the first things they ask us is, how many followers do you have? Yeah. Like, that's major. It's, it's a big it is. deal. And, like, the problem is I actually got no blowback <clears throat> from Dating Naked on Instagram because <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I did this, but apparently when I first made the account, I had it as um, private and unlisted. So all those hashtags I did didn't count for shit. So oh. after, after the show had already finished airing, I realized that and, like, t- made my account public. So it's, like, I think I have, like, a 1,012 <clears throat> subscribers, which is, like, that's nothing. So... Hmm. Um, I'm hoping once it airs in the UK and I'm I'm public now. Like once I see my episodes start airing, I'm start posting a bunch of shit and like throwing a bunch of hashtags nice. out. Nice. Hope that gets some revenue. And I don't know if you caught this or not, but the <laughs> irony of a clothing company contacting him through social media <laughs> yeah, right. to sponsor a guy who is naked for his reality show. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny they like, say the uh, last company that sponsored me was like they make protective gear for like dirt bikers, skiers, and all that stuff. And they, did uh, they make sunscreen for dicks? Yeah, that's what <laughs> it right. was. It was like this new, <laughs> this new cock cream. But, um, no, they like, they were like, Hey, like we saw like your parkour pictures and we're thinking about making shoes. And like, we'd like to know like what would a parkour athlete be looking for in the perfect shoe? And I was like, well, make it extremely fucking grippy and lightweight. Like that's really, nice. it. like that's all, all you really need. So. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, dude, thank you for coming on. We greatly yeah, thanks, appreciate man. it. It's good seeing you again. Yeah, and, buddy. uh, I'll make sure sh- don't be a stranger. Mm. Come back in again. Oh, I will. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, we're going to take a break in studio and we'll be back with Andrea's Guyery segment. All right. Thanks. Hey, Bela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to like take it old school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. And welcome back to Living Podcariously. This, we are going to go into something a little bit new. Andrea finds some really cool online articles about things to add to the show and she did it again so we're gonna go andrea is going to introduce one of her friends that's going to come in and read this list for us another friend in the studio yeah another another, another, friend. another friend in the studio Jesus christ so, that lady chase is getting fucking packed man <laughs> <laughs> uh, i love my girls so this is andrea's segment but she's tossing it over t- to her friend and it's called 14 things all southern girls Oh, excuse me. 14 things all Southern women know to be true. And we're going to give our input as to whether or not it's bullshit or if it's pretty accurate. All right, Andrea. Oh, no. You won't know if it's accurate unless you're a Southern woman. Oh, okay. All oh. right. So this isn't about their men. Sure. No, no. It's stuff women know. Okay. It's what right. uh, Southern girls... I, I I don't know. I'm not... A, as we've learned I'm prior, Midwestern sand girl. can be used in lieu of a tampon. <laughs> Shit like this. <laughs> yep. so, you know what? If it's, like, if it's the girls from country songs, all they know is like <laughs> sitting in the passenger seat of a pickup truck on a dirt road, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and the, like, he, every country song ever. He's always going to love his dog more than me. Like, yeah. that's, <laughs> if, well, listen, if one of those is don't take underwear on a one-night stand, then you know what? That's well, true. I mean, we, uh, we have another 
podcast called The Twisted Ten, and it's I decided I'm not doing that anymore, so I got in touch with my friend Ginger, so she's doing The Twisted Ten for me on my turn, so she wanted to add a little to the segment, oh, all right. so let me all go right. get her for you guys, because she wanted to add something to the show, too. <laughs> Connor's <laughs> looking around. Where is she? Do we have you know, video? I don't know why I... I like when you started that sentence. I don't know why I thought you were gonna say the twisted tampon. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a new segment. So he's like naming, tampon. renaming all of our shows. I, I like that. It's all right. <laughs> Spinoffs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where's Ginger? At? Starring Connor Hughes. Directed <laughs> well, by Connor Hughes. Well, hello, gentlemen. My name is Ginger. Uh oh. Hi, Ginger. How are you? <laughs> I am doing great. How are you? Where's wow. Andrea? Where did Andrea Yeah, go? you sound just like Andrea. Do I? <laughs> but you have like a forced country like accent. So that's smoke and mirrors. Smoke and oh, mirrors. So I smoke, uh, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> it, is what exactly. I mean. <laughs> you, you just go with it, mister. What's your name? Uh, well, I'm Cornelius Bradshaw. <laughs> Cornelius <laughs> Bradshaw. What a hell of a that made-up name. That is a wonderful it. name. I, I, I do declare. Oh. I do declare. He declares fish. everything. Well, I just I wanted to come in and just let you guys know a little bit about the Southern Woman. Oh, okay. All right. This will be a 14 things all Southern women know to be true. All right. All right. Awesome. I do your coil. Number one, if you don't have something monogrammed, you can't sit with us. Whether it's simple as your daily planner, as intense as having your entire bedroom covered in your given initials, monogramming (laughs) is a way of life in the South. I don't know who's the first to come up with the whole thing. I assume it's become sorority girls had trouble distinguishing their belongings from one another, and this was their brilliant solution. All I know is that I receive at least one gift every holiday, birthday or special occasion that has my monogram on it, and I know that by default I'm supposed to love it. I'm glad you clarified what monogram was, Ginger, because <laughs> there for a minute I'm like, what is, I know, I'm like, what is that? You didn't know you were thinking monogram. monogram you were thinking about having to press boobs between two plates of glass. I no. think this is just some chick who couldn't afford to have her cell phone bedazzled, so she tried to figure out how to be cool in front of her friends. You know, Ginger, when you talk, I feel like I'm watching like the um, Kentucky, like the KFC commercials. He's like, the five dollar chicken bucket. Come here and get yourself a free cookie. Well, as, as we all know, the KFC bucket is bede- is monogrammed with it KFC. Is so. It is Kentucky. It's monogrammed. I, 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 w- I will go with I'll my Kentucky girls, but I, they're a little. Ginger, what what are your initials, Ginger? My initials? Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are Where in the <laughs> south are you from, Ginger? Because you don't got a thick molasses. G U N gun. Gun. God damn it! So <laughs> that's you. Ginger. You ain't got the Ulysses. You don't got the Nelson. <laughs> Nelson. Ah, that's my family. <laughs> I know. Are, are you based at where? In the Number South two, Texas? you have to <laughs> learn to accept camouflage as a wearable print. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. What is that, mossy oak? Is that what that shit is? Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing says love like dressing up your bow like a tree. <laughs> yeah, but you know what the good thing, though, is like if you're out on a date with him and Predator shows up, they both have the visibility thing covered. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh. Exactly. You got to have a true Southern Oh, gentleman. my man looks so good when he's sitting up in his deer stand. As long as he's in his camouflage, <laughs> you just accept it. Number three. Wait, hold on. With the camouflage, is it disrespectful if I spray deer piss on the camouflage before I give it to the person? Like, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to work, right? No, I think no. so. You're spot on there. No, I think. no, no, no. Okay. You give him a can of the spray to go with the camouflage. I thought it was a can of skull. A- does he put, does no, he put a dab on each that's, ear? That's in addition to. Got it. Uh, Got it. But you don't want your present to smell like pee because that's not hunting. That's given. <laughs> Puts a dab behind each ear. But there you, you go. you get that? All right. Number three. Let me know. Number three. No newborn baby girl is complete without an obnoxious bow or flower strapped to her head. <laughs> oh, Aww. Typical Instagram filter. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. a good call. <laughs> All right. Number four. There is no greater hangover cure than Bojangles. Oh, I love me some Bojangles. Oh, wow. Bojangles. Let, a- let me just say this is serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is one of the greatest truths. I have ever known, and I feel sure every true Southern girl agrees. 
A Cajun filet biscuit with bow rounds and a sweet tea will literally give you life, especially after you spent the better part of your Saturday night drowning tequila and wishing you hadn't sent all those text messages. <laughs> well, I do declare, I do come believe. On, come on down to KFC to get that biscuit she was talking about for only $5 included in the bucket. <laughs> I do believe there's no other cure for Brother of the Dog like a mint julep. I'm a conservative man. I'm a gentleman of the highest order. <laughs> I'll do it with the why, why does Jay sound like a KKK Grand Dragon? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a Grand Wizard, boy. Oh, sorry. I, I thank you very much to get my why title your, right, sir. Why does your pillowcase have holes in it? <laughs> <laughs> All the better to burn them with, my dear. Ginger, oh my where, Ginger, what state are you from? Where are you from, Ginger? So I'm have, from Georgia. You're Georgia. Okay. I'm from Georgia. You know, Florida doesn't technically count when you consider southern states as in as in a culture. Florida is a melting pot, so it's a little different down here. So coming to Florida from Georgia. Do you see a lot of differences between, you know, the the cultural stereotypes from Southern people here in Florida? Well, I haven't been vacationing here very long, but if I'm here longer, I will definitely let you know if I see the difference. All right. Holding doors, you know, Maybe normal I'll, courting. Maybe I'll come back some other time and I'll let you know how my vacation went. Well, apparently there's a really nice lawyer that lives down in Melbourne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, now, you don't have to worry about his dog barking at you does anymore. Does he it's like true. animals? I think he, I think he does like animals. I think he's still recovering. Yeah, yeah he's, he's uh, in the market for a dog. He's right? mourning. Yeah. So. Well, now this is important too. This is number five. All right. I don't know this lawyer's name, but there's something about a man whose name starts with a J. With a J. With a J. We have a J in studio. Yeah, but we have first, two of them, Josh is, and J. Yeah, but my first name is really Jaime, so I don't really know if that counts. <laughs> well, let me just uh, yo, say, what if my name is Jamal? When it comes down to it, the most prominent men in a Southern girl's life all have names that start with a J. From Jesus to Jake Owen to Dear Jack God. Daniels, Jim Beam, and Jose Cuervo, you get the picture. Josh Thompson's song, Way Out Here, says it best. We're about John Wayne, Johnny Cash, and John Deere, way out here. But uh, aren't they building yeah. a wall to keep Jose out, though? Yeah. I mean, I felt, I think... <laughs> Not in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were making America great again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the South. We have our own way about doing things. But oh I'm a white man in America. I grab people by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be said. Had to be said. Well, I, I must say number six is very, very important to a Southern woman. All right. The bigger your hair... The closer you are to God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Does it have to be the hair on the head? <laughs> no, no, I guess not. Can you rock rough and stuff with your Afro puffs under the belt line? I've got some hair like I'm like, <laughs> well, huge. wait a minute. Like, what did you just say that again? No, can you gold. rock? Uh, can you rock rough and stuff with your Afro puffs? Come on, that's Lady of Rage, dude. <laughs> well, a little or a lot <laughs> of never volume hurt. never hurt anyone. All right, she was in the dog pound, wasn't she? <laughs> she was, yeah. Actually, she was on death row. You're right. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> well, I'm sure Mr. Adam will agree with this one. There's only one kind of tea: sweet, sweet tea. Mm. And Nothing. Southern girls have a very wait. Unique are you way calling Adam it. fat? Is that what you said? <laughs> oh no, no. I, no Adam no, done no. got himself a case of the sugars. He done changed his <laughs> no. blood type from A B positive to two. <laughs> Darling, all I'm saying is that nothing makes a southern girl as ill as Hornet quite as ordering a tea at a restaurant above the Mason Dixon line, only to be brought a putrid liquid that bitch slaps your taste buds. <laughs> It's a crime, folks. I feel like this article so is trying way too hard. get here with that peach tea and green tea nonsense. Tea is meant to have sugar in it. <laughs> All right, got it. That was a stretch, man. That that was oh. a... <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a tea enema. I feel like I understand sweet tea intimately. Now. Yeah, no kidding. All right, number eight. In a religious sense. <laughs> the seasons of the year are a necessity. Hmm. In the Ooh. South? Ooh. There are no seasons in the South. <laughs> Not only for our sanity, but also for our wardrobes. Southern girls love buying boots and scarves just as much as they love to buy sundresses. Tack doesn't like boots, Ginger. I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> oh, I'm so and sorry, And apparently neither does his girlfriend, but she really does. I'm, oh, I'm so not sure how we think about that. <laughs> and I don't like tea, so... Oh, but as you can bet your sweet ass, as soon as that weather in any season gets too harsh, Southern women will take to social media to raise cane about their hatred for a 100-degree weather heat. Pollen takeover or three inches of snow keeping them from leaving their house and we can count down the days until the next season arrives. It's just what we do, okay? 
<laughs> raising Cain, I think, is the most southern thing I've heard so far. My nana used to say that. Well, I'm going to raise Cain if you don't get over here. I, She's I, crazy I, as I'll get out. I the think most I'm southern confusing thing I've y'all more is, about women. It's like, <laughs> we don't like your con around here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Number nine, southern gentlemen are a dream. And a oh. dumb one because they don't exist anymore. <laughs> I woman hold my skull while he holds my bear. I'm hey, gonna shoot there out the window. Cletus, give me a bear. <laughs> oh Chivalry is not dead, Ginger. I'm just gonna tell you. Mama, how nice. All right, number ten is department store sales will empty your wallet. <laughs> Black Friday, my ass. No other event will get you, your mama, and your grandmama up at the crack of dawn like a good old doorbuster sale at Belk. Hell, <laughs> even some good gr- great grannies might show up to raid the racks and fight a bitty for that perfect multicolored moo moo. <laughs> Shit gets real and it gets real fast. I dispute this. Wow. I think the biggest fights I've ever seen have been at a garage sale <laughs> or a yard sale if you're being technical. Yeah, dude, and, uh, when, you, when you really want a lava lamp, you're like, you gotta grab that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a lava lamp at a yard sale when I was like 14. Just saying. <laughs> Everyone has. Yeah. You walk by and you're like, well, that just speaks to me. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you always have the argument, does it work? Yeah, of course it works. We'll plug it in. Dude, it's gonna take like six hours to heat up. <laughs> I got, I got time. It's Saturday. Uh, it's I'm my ten dollars. I'm, I'm putting this wait. on hold. Yeah. <laughs> then the guy's finally like, just fucking take it. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't have much to say about this one because it kind of speaks for itself. All right. Mary Kay, Tupperware, jewelry, etc. Parties are a way of life. <laughs> Tupperware parties in the South is pretty, pretty. Uh, Stereotypical for the southern women, that's what are, for sure. What this one here, you can put things in, and this one is like, it's got a bigger circumference, so you can put more <laughs> things in it. <laughs> What's the southern perspective on passion parties? I was just going to ask that. Ooh, parties. Ginger, that's a good question she for you. She may not know what that is. A passion party? What is a passion party? Well, I imagine a good Christian woman like yourself wouldn't <laughs> understand what it's like to have a the gathering. The passion of, of the Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> old, old people are calling for Jesus. <laughs> but that's when we get our hair even higher so we can be closer to our Lord and Savior. Well, I'm pretty sure some young lady, young lady when you say passion raised. of the Christ, that warrants the question, is it the Mel Gibson passion <laughs> of the Christ? <laughs> It's all you, those Ginger, passions. Do you, Ginger, do you really not know what a passion party is? No, it no? is a passion party. It, it's I mean, basically sure what's is. going on now. Passion it's a bunch party? of women surrounding themselves with a bunch of dildos. Um, there you go. Much like you find oh yourself my now. <laughs> it's all sex toys, Ginger. It's basically a Mary Kay party, but with prosthetic phalluses. With dongs, yes. Yep. Well, as a lady, that is something I will not speak about. Well, as a lady, those <laughs> are the only people at the fashion parties typically. Or anywhere where anyone can hear me, especially the low. <laughs> Number 12. Number 12. I love how she raises her hands every Lossy. time she says the Lord. Agreed. The Lord. It's a miniature prayer. Gossip is a given. Oh. I feel right. like that's true with any woman. <laughs> you, your friends, your mama, even the ladies in church will always have something new to tell about y- about you about someone. Regardless if it's good or bad news, you can't wait to lend your ear and hear the 411. Anytime you hear a southern woman say, not to be a gossip, but you know you're about to hear something that will most likely make your head explode. Like he thinks he's so hot because he's in L.A. (laughs) Or she's not even that (laughs) cute. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I love it. Hey, uh, Ginger, have you ever seen Steel Magnolias? (laughs) Steel Magnolias. I love that movie. That is I so, figured as much. I figured as much. I love With fried it. green tomatoes is a battle cry. <laughs> you know, Jay, you're right about the, the all women do gossip. Southern women have a unique way about them when they get together to gossip. It's almost the, the better news you come with is the social status that you have for that conversation. I've always pictured Southern women gossiping just being like a, a hen house full of women who sound like Boomhauer from King of the Hill. <laughs> the thing is, they don't do it behind each other's back. They'll say that right there with the person right behind their back where they can hear them. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love some southern women. Number fourteen. Catorce. <laughs> Number four. Wait, Five did you skip thirteen? I am so sorry. I did. Number thirteen. I'm so sorry, Number gentlemen. 13. Number thirteen is very important. Always act like a lady. Oh. All unless right. you find it impossible in certain situations. 
in this event, always pretend to be a lady and hide your crazy around your mom. What she doesn't know hopefully won't kill her. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like that's an actual legitimate threat in the South. Like, what your mama doesn't know possibly won't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that, young man. <laughs> like, our- da- Daddy done fled the sheriff. He's coming back for mama. <laughs> <laughs> This is our last one before I uh, exit, gentlemen. All right. Number 14. Number 14. You thank God every day and twice on Sunday that he chose you to be raised in the South. Not saying it's the only way to live, but it's definitely the best way to live. There's a reason Northerners retire here after all. Oh, she's curtain oh, for okay. us. All right. Very Thank good. You, Ginger. Ooh, I Thank got a nice you. shot there. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. Ooh, that's a southern girl right? I know so, for sure. So, Ginger, since, before you go, tell me, what was it like living on the island with Gil- Gilligan and the Skipper? <laughs> what island? I'm from Georgia. Raised you've on got, a look, you've got the Fusky and Tybee. <laughs> I've never left my plantation. Uh oh, she's on a plantation. If she leaves the plantation, she no longer owns people. That's 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 right. That's right. Um, If I leave, I'm no longer from Georgia. Uh, All right, so Ginger, I've listened. I turned off all these other mics in studio in here. It's just me and you. Nobody can hear us. Nobody can talk to us. Yes. What was your name? Uh, My name's Adam. Adam. Um, Your friend or cousin? I don't know. uh, How do you How do you know Andrea? Andrea, she came and ate my peaches on my plantation. Okay, perfect. Um, She's really into. Forward women that propose sexual acts with her man and her together. So, oh, yes. uh, you want to go talk to her and maybe, uh, you know, the three of us can. Well, what is it that you're going to do for me? Oh. Uh, Why don't, did you don't come know. back to me on that and you just let me know? Uh, I got turned down by a. Do you have a dog at home that likes to eat panties? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Ginger, thank you. Thank you so much for doing the 14 Things Southern Women. No to be true. We appreciate that. Yes, and if you guys want to hear more from me, I will be doing an episode of the Twisted Ten. That's right. You can listen to that this week as well. All right. When we come back, uh, you need to swap and like high five tag team with Andrea on your way out of here. She's got a segment she needs to do when she comes back uh, for our uh, diary segment of Living Podcariously. Thank you guys for having me on your show. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thank Andrea. You. Peering into the inner thoughts and expressions of men. Women submit questions for Adam and Tack to get brutal, honest admissions. We call this the Guyery. Guyery? Really? Is that the best we could come up with? All right, guys, you guys ready for some questions? Where did Ginger go? Ginger was a nice girl. She had some weird ideas about stuff in the bedroom, but... Uh, Adam was trying yeah. to do a threesome. Wait, Tack, what the... Guy code, man. What the hell? What are you Sorry. doing over here, Hey, man? hey, that's copyrighted, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> guy, <laughs> co- yeah. guy code? Yeah. Wow, well, sue me. Get, get us some attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first question is from Valerie in Florida. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Val. How much should I spend, or how many gifts is good to get my boyfriend for Christmas? Oh, there's a lot of going into this that you yeah. need to know. How long have they been dating? Just get him some fucking socks. <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, I asked Andrea for socks and underwear for I Christmas. I need I, them. Yeah, I want socks. For I them. lose them. I don't know where they go. I'm the one that washes them. I'm the one that files them in my drawer, and they still go missing. <laughs> as a woman, that's just a given. It doesn't count as a Christmas present. You just that's just you I'm buy actually, it. I'm trying to get a girlfriend quick because I need cologne. Like that's <laughs> yeah. I, you know I'm running out of cologne because I have good. a girlfriend around the holidays. Maybe that's if really you good have one. cologne, you need a you'll Christmas get a girl. girlfriend for cologne. Christmas girlfriend for Columbus. It's like Gift of the Magi. It's the cuffing season. That's all this is. You know, it took Andrea to tell me that Axe really doesn't smell good on a grown-ass man. So, Axe uh, doesn't ever smell good. If you smell like Axe, I promise you there's never been a woman who's been comfortable in your car. <laughs> Uh-oh, that might explain a lot of my dating life before you then. I mean, like, like I want to smell like an Axe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, you, if you're like 13, it's okay. If you're wearing axe, you blo- you deserve to have a fake I, pen. And I, an I went through an I went through an axe 13, phase too. Jay, Did you? I, I no, axe is thirteen is okay to wear axe. Axe, axe is, is from a different culture. Like, At thirteen, we're wearing curve. Thirteen is cool. No, thirteen, I was wearing polo. I was wearing curve when I was thirteen as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. 
And then See, you like, move to X? <laughs> X? Are you on? I am, yeah. Oh, there you go. What about Drakkar? Was that, was that rapey? <laughs> I used to wear Axe, but oh, then yeah. I realized that, like, I'm not, like, 14 anymore, and I'm not just, like, finger-blasting my girlfriend between, like, Call of Duty sessions because, like, I'm too afraid to actually have sex with her. Like, that's, that's what Axe reminds me of now is, like, that age. So, like, now I've moved on to, like, you know, bod because I'm a sophisticated adult. <laughs> that, that's good. But wasn't awesome. bod Axe before Axe was Axe? Isn't Axe that... just reminds me of a guy bod who did gave, take uh, a shower. Axe axe. Maybe bod was the inspiration behind a Kid Rock song. Oh, shit. What? Bod with the bod, the bang is stop it. Diggy, diggy, God whatever. damn it, stop Come it. Come on. I, hate I you love so much. it. I love it when I when I throw out a joke and it's a dead room afterwards. That's I the best dancing. sound in the world. I, hope you I was just quiet because I was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did we answer uh, the question? Or? Cologne, is, Cologne is the best answer. 12. Yeah. Honestly, Cologne. I think it's how Jay many. nailed it. The question is how many? Oh. Oh, yeah. How much? Like, what? How much did you get? (laughs) There's a comedian in Brevard. I don't remember who who did the stand up, but they said all that they ever want for their birthdays, for Christmas, for Father's Day, for just blowjob. That that's good. That's a that's a perfect. So some cologne and a blowjob. Christmas done. Yeah, the blowjob's great, and then the clone so we can like. Disappointing guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can, as we've learned, women in the South like monogramming shit. So if you can monogram the, the that's cologne for the bottle, women. Yeah, the I mean, guy. well, just to oh. let them let them know that that's you're from the, the Southern South, gentlemen. firmly from there. Where's uh, there's it's kind of uh, Dixie or um, Daisy, 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 and her friend uh, Kiana, who I lives at. I think Connor likes him some Daisies. <laughs> no, who is the Southern one? Uh, ginger. 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 Oh, ginger. Ginger. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of funny you guys talk about the blowjob thing because it's exactly what I told my girlfriend today on the phone. Do you want a blowjob? Like, I was like, just give me a blowjob, we'll be good. <laughs> but that's yeah. ridiculous. I asked Adam if I can get a blowjob like three times a day. You so too. how would that be a present? <laughs> well, I, don't know. I mean, put a, I mis- put a mistletoe I gotcha. over his belt four times a day. <laughs> Is it four? That's the present. We've moved up to four. no, no. no. You, oh, if you go with three the and add one, that's the present. Just say Merry Christmas, or I can go. If he's it's like, June. <laughs> what? What? Merry Christmas is June. Yeah. No. What's a real present for a girl who gives blowjobs all the time? Hum a Christmas carol as you Toothpaste. do it. Ho 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 ho. You're still talking about how, me. How about mouthwash mentos? How about that grill? About me. How about that grill set that we talked about on the Twisted Ten? Right. A grill set I can give you while I give you a blowjob. Oh, I thought we were talking about real gifts. Okay, oh. but sorry. To answer the question as far as how much and how many, yes. look, get them one gift. If he, if you guys have been together long term, price it between fifty and a hundred bucks. If you've been together less than two years, don't spend more than fifty. More than fifty, less than two years. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. I bought you a t-shirt. Okay. And if he <laughs> buys you an engagement ring, well then, run. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't marry a guy who proposes on Christmas. Come on, be more creative, fellas. If he's a lawyer who lives in his I own house, very so you should definitely say yes. If to he's a lawyer that lives right? in his, yeah. If he's a lawyer lo- and mourning the loss of his dog, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I, uh, I think this is a good one for you to answer. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, okay. Um, well, definitely, if it's a guy that may have been on like a reality show where he's naked <laughs> dating chicks, no, I'm stay I'm, saying, that guy. I'm saying for a guy oh, like you, for a guy that's like I know, I know, you, I know. Um, um, what? How much should gifts be, and how much should many? Gifts I, I like what get? Jay said. Jay's, Jay's got a good answer, but it also depends on the relationship. Like, uh, me and my girl haven't been together too long, but I still would get more than like two for her you know it's yeah. been probably a little more than that yeah no i mean if you find a bunch of stuff that's you know like easily afford don't break the bank is what i'm saying like if, if you're don't concerned about how much yeah if you're concerned don't about how much you're spending money. Then, yeah. yeah don't so don't if go it's out something of the way. really sentimental you're just like this person would absolutely love then yeah if you find different. something that's definitely this person it, yeah go for it go go nuts if you do too much and it's too early it actually comes to cost as, as, as yeah that was my next it's question like, hey I paid your mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh. a good point. I, paid like, I own car. part of your house now. <laughs> like, if I, like if I just started seeing a girl and she wanted to get me like I don't know a gift membership at a BJ's or a Sam's Club. Hey, cool. Way to look out. Now, does that BJ like is that the same BJ? <laughs> <laughs> as, as Jack's answer, or? Okay, you guys just totally made you this totally way misunderstood when woman. I said BJ. All right, so women, don't spend too little. Don't spend too much. Don't get too many. Don't get too much. That's your advice. Sounds good. You know, here's what you do for your boyfriend. However many inches his dick is, is $10 towards his gift. So if he's a six inch or $60 gift, if he's a little bigger than that, then you got it. But only one gift. (coughs) What about Santa Claus? That's separate? 
<laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Like when you buy him a gift and you write Santa on the no, when and... Santa Claus comes oh, okay. on Christmas Eve. Oh, this she's... is just what she's gonna buy, not what Santa's buying. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. That's right, yeah. Santa. Because yeah. Santa's different. Because yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't want a blowjob from Santa though. Let's <laughs> yeah. clarify that now. <laughs> Maybe Gandalf will swing by too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Would Christmas you want plans. the story though? How many guys can say that? It's a good point. Well, a lot of kids I, might be able to say, Santa touched me. That's not a good story. I saw Daddy <laughs> blowing Santa Claus. <laughs> she breaks out in a song every once in a while, by the way. The core of all daddy issues. <laughs> daddy really wants that new Call of Duty. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's move on. Number two is from Melissa okay. in Florida. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Mel. <laughs> I know that we are living in the 21st century. And I know women have the right to oh, have as many sexual partners as they want. It's debatable. Get good. But are women with a lot of sexual partners a turn off for men? No. This is an individual answer. It depends. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's go one by one here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to answer this one last. Jake, yeah, right, oh, go last. Last. Yeah, I'll go last. Adam, you're up. All right. So with me, absolutely not. It doesn't matter. But it does matter how she's handled her life. If she's incredibly promiscuous in her past, but she's safe about it, that's... And she's honestly safe with herself about it. You, then that that's important. But promiscuity is just—I mean—that's just human that's nature. Totally opposite what you told me. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, you told me it was admirable and lovely, and you love the fact that and a lot of guys. No, that's true. But that's about you. We're talking in general for women. Yeah, but wouldn't oh, would oh, that Connor- make me more desirable by not sleeping with guys? As opposed to one who slept with a ton of guys. That's what this question it's is. For every guy. It's, it it's a it? different, different answer. Yeah, absolutely. I see your point with that. Yes, There's but a lot of variables. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Connor, just so you know, the guy right questions are when, when people submit, what? What are you saying over there? Totally changed your I've heard answer. you talking about guy From what like you've told me. This, this is what we call a loaded question, Adam. This is no, 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 not submitted all the by Mel. This yeah. was actually written. Well, that was, no, that's no, what no, I was going to tell Connor. He can't so, get in trouble from this question. Women so submit trouble. questions for dudes. Women submit the questions for us to answer on air, that, and we answer them honestly. <laughs> I'm just calling however, you out for not answering honestly. However... However, this is also sometimes an attack opportunity for Andrea to get back at Adam for something. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Fuck Adam. But maybe it's how I heard. Maybe me. it's the maybe it's the way that I heard the question asked. Ask it again. Ask her question. It's kind Listen, of a long one. You, Andrea, and and Ginger can work. Are this out women later. with a yeah. lot of sexual partners a turn off for men? Are women with a lot of sexual? Yeah. No. He answered that question so, perfectly yeah, fine. He, no, he likes the fact that you didn't, but that doesn't mean if you did, it'd be a turn off. No, Correct. it was just that yes. I had heard from him before that that is a turn off, it, and then it changed. So how does that oh. make you feel? So no, no, I'm just you, you got to start like, paying me for the session. If this is supposed to be real and true, which <laughs> one's the true answer? Am I getting true answers from you guys? But he, what he's I saying is it's more complex than that. There's there's variables now that need to be complex. considered. All right. Do I find it attractive that you haven't had a lot of history? Yes, I do. I didn't see that. Me. I under says, yeah, you did. Turn- but that also doesn't change the fact that it's not an unattractive trait. If somebody has had a lot of partners, it just depends on how they went about it. So, no, that's Mommy, it's, Daddy, I don't like it when you fight. Yeah, Tech, we're not what, fighting. Let's Tech, what do you think? <laughs> no, he's just saying it's a turn off and a turn on all in the same sentence. All right. So that so, wasn't answering right, the question. Let's get the next Wait, let me, let me do it. So skip him because he doesn't have an answer. Let me do an Someone old post Someone give me a good here. answer. <laughs> no. Good answer. If you didn't see it, Solid. he pushed forcefully on his microphone till no it was no longer answers. in the general vicinity of his face. Just an actual one. Uh, so I think you know it's it is a case by case basis. However, I don't want to go into too much into detail. But I was with a girl one time, and after we had broken up, because I had asked her, we had had that conversation. We were together, and she was like, "Well, I don't want to say," and I was like, "Whatever, good point. All right, let's not say." And then once we had broken up, because you know, well, she cheated on me. Um, I was like, so how many have you had? And she told me a number that I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, I don't even mathematically I don't even know how that was possible. Can you, um, yeah, can you tell specify us numerically? <laughs> I want to know the number Give it to too. me imperial. <laughs> like, let me hear. Yeah, we need to know. Um, would anybody like take a guess? 63. 78. One million. One. Dollars. It's definitely between 70 and one million. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Holy Over shit! Three thousand? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was um somewhere in the ballpark of like a hundred and sixty. Fuck! What? I thought I was bad. <laughs> That's what I said. Jeez. No, right, I didn't so- say that, but I was like, <laughs> "Holy shit!" I was like, "Wow!" And, and when you have a high number like everybody's that, had a ride. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so is that like, a turn wow. off, guys? Is you know, 163? Three, a turtle. That's uh, for me. It's like the way a woman, and I know this is totally like you know sexist or like totally Trump of me, but like the thing is, <laughs> the thing is like depending on how many like partners a woman has is how I will consider like how far I'll go with her. So like if a girl's like, yeah, I've been with like you know sixty or seventy guys, I'm like, well, I'm not gonna date her because a any girl who's talking to a guy texts nudes to him. I don't want to date a girl that like. 60 other dudes have like pictures of her tits that's not cool so like <laughs> like yeah I'll, I'll like hook up with her or talk to her or whatever but like when it's coming like someone that i want to like chain down and last for a while it's like the lower the count the better for me because like i don't like finding out shit later but you know we're talking about threesome she's like yeah i've had sex with like four guys at once you're like wow you know i <laughs> probably would have liked to know that from day one like but what's cool is that when you have that picture and then you show your buddy and they have the match <laughs> the same one <laughs> Like, oh, that's like bros for it's life. It's almost like finding you know? out that you and your buddy both have a Charizard. It's like, that oh my god, we could, so we could destroy oh everyone. Oh my god, I can't believe that. You find that's out your Eskimo that's brothers adorable. with everyone at the mall? That's adorable. What's adorable? The, the that's Charizard? That's adorable, yes, yes. Uh, Is that, who are you nerds! On? So, my answer, uh, I don't care. I will never even consider asking a woman how many, cause everyone's got a history. I've got a history. She's got a history. I prefer, like, 168. I'm impressed she, she kept count. Like, that's <laughs> what I took away from that. I was like, that's impressive that I slept. No, that you kept count that high. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm not even awesome. mad. I, I, like, I'm not <laughs> just even, impressive. I, I, yeah, it's just, <laughs> wow. I lose track. I lost track after like seven. Like, I just stopped it reminds me, count. It reminds me of that scene in Clerks where he finds out. <laughs> 37! 37! <laughs> Try to just suck any dicks <laughs> on the way back to the car. <laughs> in a row? In a row? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't give a shit how many people she slept with it's not my business right, as past long, is your past as right? long as you're not adding to the number while i'm actively with you then i don't right. give a shit it's right. i agree it's that's none of my answer. business i don't care i like a woman who knows what the hell she's doing right and you know? that's generally my consensus too your past your past whatever i don't care but when you know that kind of a number is a little it, higher than i was it is i mean it's higher than i would expect if it came up like oh shit okay well that's that was a bit surprising okay. <laughs> plus hearing that number after i find out she cheated on me like you know <laughs> kind of like adds, you know, salt into the wound. So. Not to mention, it's like, like you know, all the ladies out there, like, if you have a number, don't fucking lie about it. Because, like, I dated a girl who was like, I've only had sex with nine guys. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, that's straight, whatever. And she, she like, preached that. And then, like, it wasn't until, like, after we broke up that I heard a bunch of guys like, dude, yeah, I know her. Like, dude, I actually <laughs> fucked her. And, like, oh, I'd, be, I'd, be at the, I'd be at the bar and, like, four dudes would be like, I'm, I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating the story, but literally I was at a bar one night and two guys were there who had fucked her and were like, dude, yeah, I got like, is, is it like, are you gonna be mad at me if I have pics? And I'm like, no, let me show you, bro. I'm like, all right. Like, <laughs> like, like we had a bro moment over that. Like we, uh, oh, what? Like you play Call of Duty too? Like I've got it. And I was like the same thing. I was like, oh, you fucked her too? Like here's the picture. So but, isn't that, there's a term for that, right? Eskimo buddies? I saw yeah, that in Eskimo, a movie. Eskimo brothers. Tunnel brothers. Es- yeah, it's from, yeah, it's from, buddies. uh, it's from the league. The league. Uh, That's yeah. right. I like you, tunnel you buddies. You got me better. watching that. <laughs> that's right okay she was lying about nine guys she lied yeah she said that she had only been with nine and then it wasn't until i talked to other guys who heard like what, when she was drunk at parties and like talking about her number and one day i caught her talking to her friends like her girlfriends and one of the girls was like oh my god i can't believe i've been with like 53 men and then she was like oh man like wait till you get on my level and i was like bitch what like, Where did I, I thought we were at nine. <laughs> and then, sure what? enough, it came out to be like, you know, it was like 40 something. And I was like, I if you would have told me that day one, one, I would have, ex- I would have been cool with it. You know, whatever <laughs> yeah. was part of your past. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Did I just like miss something in life? Into the mic, sweetie. Did I just there miss something in life? A lot of dick. You missed a lot of dick. A lot of dick. Adam is number six. I got you. That's commendable. That's good. Good job. It's admirable. Wait, yeah. Everyone else is like, oh, yeah, it's 50. No big deal. And you see how none of Do us I give a shit. So you've, <laughs> you've been missing out for no reason. Like, my guys? Go do it. No, that just makes me throw <laughs> up. Let's move on go to number three. <laughs> but you guys said, well, I mean, I just get the here, watch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like in God. the scene from Airplane no, when they're like... waiting to beat up the girl in the line. They're all waiting <laughs> with different yeah, instruments. Yeah, yeah. One's got a wiffle ball bat. I've yes. got it. We'll have a catch up Andrea Joy living podcariously live episode. AKA Bukaki. Where we get a bang. bunch of guys come in and they'll just catch me up with all the other women in the world. All right. Oh, this sounds fun. Do we charge admission? Of course, absolutely, right. dude. We're gonna be rich as fuck. We'll have we'll have enough money to sew your pussy back up when they're done. How much is it per person? <laughs> Forty dollars. 
Oh, dude, come on. Man. I was thinking I one million. Right wow. Oh, a million bucks? Wow. He was trying to help you actually get the number up. Like, he was giving a legitimate, like, yeah, yeah. okay, you, do you really want to get the. I wish you want to play golf or do you want to fuck around? Like, what do you want to do? I wish my number was one. That's good old good. Southern girl, you know. <laughs> oh, you sound exactly like this girl, Ginger, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspect I suspect that Ginger is a closet slut, but I'm not sure. <laughs> wow. Look at you, only a few minutes with Ginger and you already oh, got some. Oh, okay. <laughs> so well, the geez. things I did with those six guys, I will not repeat on air. Let me tell you, Ginger <laughs> spent a lot of time with a millionaire on that island. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> and his wife. I when it comes off. to my men, I'm about quality, not quantity. These guys oh, know no. me, baby. You can't do. You can't say that. They know me no, very well. I'm talking about what I give to the guys. Oh, okay. I'll agree. Right. How that. long after something it has expired is it still considered quality? <laughs> like after you cook in like the fridge, meat, like three steak. days, three days. You got three days. I got three days. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right. After All right. it's been out, after I already cooked it, it's three days. All right, number three, Alexandria in Ohio. Alex, how do guys feel? about how much their date girlfriend uses social media. My guy gets so annoyed every time I pick up my phone. I do admit I spend a lot of time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Okay, she sent this question to us while she was on a date, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and Put your fucking media. phone down. You're on a date. Yeah, and she was listening to the show while she was on the date, which triggered her to send in an email to show at Living Pod Curiously yeah. for the guy every second. <laughs> nice Put your question. fucking you phone like down. You, it's it's a, what, a two-hour date? You can go two hours without checking your phone. If he was checking his phone every five minutes, you'd be bitching up a storm because he's not paying any attention to you. It, you know what? Sometimes I, sometimes I want to feel like a pretty little <laughs> tulip, too. It's, you know? uh, like, it's Jake from State Farm. Who the fuck is Amber Alert? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she telling you where this little girl is? Are you in? A, are you a pedophile? <laughs> are you in Amber pedophiles? <laughs> That's fucking gold, right there. That's oh hilarious. God, you didn't make it up. Holy shit! Amber Alert. Oh. That's the same girl that looks at a mall directory and says, "You are here." She's like, "How do they know?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that as that original joke? That How long bitch. have you known Amber? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Why does she have a little red emoji? <laughs> Why does her ringtone sound different? <laughs> Why is she a special one? It's not even fair. <laughs> her car's not even that good. <laughs> 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 Why is she bragging about her car? We're so bad, so bad, so bad. Amber Alert's important. In 98, no, no, no. Children. Why is oh, she, shit. she's proud of a windowless van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't do Ford Focus? Whatever. I'm, go, I'm going to hell in a handbag. Oh, that's oh. so good. Is that an original joke, Connor? Uh, that's good. It might be. That's so funny. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. Jay's gonna steal that. You know that. I'm wondering that if I'm, no, no, I'm not stealing that. I would I'm absolutely. Wondering if pay I've heard that. that somewhere, but I don't think there I is have. a there's an internet page you can November, go to to look up jokes, right? That's like you can actually type in the joke. It's like does an a IMDb for it. thing. Oh, yeah, for jokes. I, well, I, I might have saw it on Facebook or something. Oh god, that was fucking hilarious. That oh was god, funny. <laughs> that was definitely the November Ooh. joke of the month. <laughs> Very good. Very I don't good. even know if I can ask another question because I think we should end the show with that. I don't, did we even answer her <laughs> question? <laughs> what was her Jay did? Yeah, no, I said yeah. Put your fucking phone down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm the same as him. Though, like, if I'm on a yeah, date and she's constantly got her eyes on her phone, like. It's a turn off. Like afterwards, like I know for me, like my career, I promote through social media, and it's important. And like I know that not every girl's like you know fucking doing the same thing, but like I don't know, girls are more in tune with like sharing pictures and stuff like that, and like you know content on the internet. So like if we're hanging out and like we're already kind of established as a thing, and like I'm sitting down and like we're watching Netflix, and she pulls out her phone and like she's you know on Instagram, or that's fine, whatever. Oh, yeah. But like it's like when you're when you're meeting somebody for the first time, like on a date or something, trying to engage you're supposed in to, conversation. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to like compromise some parts of you to make yourself seem like approachable, like not being on your phone. Like I know I put mine on vibrate when I'm on a date just because like, you know, I don't want to get like an email and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I, I know your grandpa's sick, <laughs> but I got an email from someone and I need to answer it now. Like I'd, I'd rather this just. Because living pug curiously wanting you to come on their show. <laughs> yeah. No, like, yeah. no, but kind of totally fucking nailed it. Like if I'm on a first date, especially if, 
if I'm on a date with you, it's because I want to get to know you. And right now, all I know about you is that you check your phone every goddamn five seconds. And that's, uh, okay, cool. Don't expect, oh, he's such an asshole. He ain't call me back. Oh, she knows I ain't call her back because she's always looking at her fucking phone. <laughs> so you know she didn't call you back. As I'm sitting here on Facebook right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not on so, a date this so, time. So yeah. so Wait, this words, isn't a date. I'm going just, home. Don't do it too soon. Like, don't, if you're on a date, well, don't spend do, time it, with the person you're with. Yeah. After yeah. the date. Right. Like, I'm a comic. I'm booking shows. I'm promoting shows. I'm telling, you know, I'm posting up where I am. But if I'm on a date with you, I put my phone away. Yes, I'm so. actually working on my phone. No one gives a shit what you're eating. All right, stop. Just ah, uh, sorry. I care. <laughs> I care. Struck a nerve. Jay's been hurt. We uh, Tack Phones and I agree. Are bad. Yeah, we, we agree. Yeah, we agree. Move on. Perfect. <laughs> you agree with each other? With, with both of both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your phone away, both especially sentiment. first date. You guys agree with each other? You said nothing. <laughs> you disagree? We agree that we agree. We agree. Awesome. It's like Let's it depends. Though, like it depends. Like for a guy now, I, I know it sounds like you know very um not equal, but like. It's okay for a guy to check what? his phone only because, like, you never know, like, if, like, you know, oh, like, mom's texting me that grandma's in the hospital. Like, you know, this chick sent me some, like, fire-ass nudes. Like, you need to, you need to check that on the <laughs> spot. Hey, hey Connor, I, I just want to say one thing. I just want to say, uh, did, did you know that girls have grandmas, too? That's, no. <laughs> I have a grandma and I'm not a girl, so <laughs> no, clearly but, you're but wrong. Really, really, <laughs> girls do have grandmas too, and their moms could text them and say grandma was sick too. The only time I will ever check my Touché? phone, the only reason I would ever have to check my phone on a date is because I have a kid. So if I, if right. my phone buzzes, Kay. I'm sorry, I gotta see if this is my kid. Nope. Screw Back that. If yeah. I have my kid, I got a babysitter I know they're taken care of and I don't need my phone. You know what? Your phone on a date is like your phone at work. It's like, you, you hear it go, you hear, you hear it go, boom. And you're like, oh, you check it. And you're like, oh, okay. Oh, I just buddy wants to know if I'm going to drink tonight. I'll put it back in my pocket. But yep, it's like, that's it. it's like, you know, your dad that's has right. been shot. You're like, like, fuck. All right. Hang on. Bad shot. I need to go like talk. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, I just found out it's disrespectful. Apparently, if you're on a date and you put your phone face down on the table, I always put what? my phone face down on the table because I, I don't give a shit what's that's, on the screen. I'm how is that you. disrespectful? Because your you're trying to hide. Well, I don't all carry a purse. Oh. Yeah, I don't carry a purse, and I'm not gonna. I have a giant fucking phone. It's uncomfortable so to sit with it in my pocket. Dude, you don't carry a purse. What the fuck's phone? wrong with you? That's like, <laughs> yeah, I should carry it's a satchel. satchel I, guess. I have the phone. I have the phone that little Wayne pours champagne on. Is that her? Yeah, I was noticing every time like you put your phone face down. Yeah, it's been it's been making me mad for a long time. Yeah, no, somebody told me that was crazy disrespectful. I was like, what are you? I'm, I'm no, putting it down because I'm it paying attention sense. to you. It makes sense. Connor kind of explained it a little bit. It's so that like if a notification pops up, you don't want somebody to just look on it and see who the notification is from. Why? Well, they because be like, it might be, your your because something. It might be you know, your next date. <laughs> because like, so that's why the girls are getting mad then. <laughs> if you're hiding your next date, well, on your we phone? tangented the fuck that's out of that, that yeah. one. I don't even know where this is going. I don't. This Put your phone yeah, down. Yeah. Pay attention to the date. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it goes back to Amber Alert. Like, if it's on a first date, and then like, <laughs> who the fuck is Amber? But, like, it goes like, it goes like, if you're on a first date, and like some girl like sees like Kristen liked your photo. I mean, she's in her head, she's like, well, huh, fuck is Kristen? Like, immediately, <laughs> someone who likes my photo. Whoa, whoa. Like jumping, jumping to like conclusions. Like he's probably gang banging this Kristen, Kristen <laughs> with his buddies. <laughs> yeah, that's how girls. I mean, like, Meanwhile, it's like you posted a totally picture of your dog and she liked it. And, like, <laughs> yeah. That's how they start thinking when they're like 16, and then you, you get better as you get older. Really, where are these women at? Because they're older. It, it takes time. Not to grow 22 out of it. or however old. <laughs> All right, next she question. Went, Beth from Georgia. What mm. are four qualities that would make a girl a catch? Ooh, oh, we should oh. each get one. Okay. Yeah. I, I abstain. Okay. Josh, you gotta fill it in. I do declare. Oh. I say sense of humor. I want to listen there. What? 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 Wait, oh, I can tell <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking drunk. Do you realize? Oh, uh, holy shit! You can hear these answers. Well, so the question is four characteristics. You said you've seen uh, four qualities to make a girl a catch. You, you have to go. Uh, I said sense of humor. Great in bed. Josh and I agree with that one. Great in bed. Yes. Sense of humor. Uh, for me, a huge one's fucking like loyalty. Like a if I see huge she's, one. If loyalty. She's, if she's texting, <laughs> if she's texting like a shit ton of guys or something, it's like, you know, like, or if she's on her f- social media during a date. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not going back to that one again. No, no, please. Like I don't know. Like if I just see, like if I look at a girl's phone and it's like, you know, 
Jacob text message. And, you know, like Eric text message. I'm going to all right, why is this girl talking to so many fucking guys? Yeah. Like, so, you know, to me, it's just like, you know, and like, obviously they could just be friends, but to me, she it's like. She could be gay though. Uh, then why is she? That doesn't work. No, yeah, the guys, I think that guys don't have like, the cat. like girls have a best gay friend, but guys don't have a best lesbian friend. Like, isn't why like, not? No, like guys are like, oh my god, listen to what Karen said today. And like the lesbian well, your friend's lesbian gonna be friend's like, not going to talk I, like that. I used to have a good lesbian friend. <laughs> All right, loyalty. So hang on, like, let's catch up for the answer. So we got sense of humor, great in bed, loyalty, loyalty. and Jay. Um, and Jay? Shit, a pulse? I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a change. Um, <laughs> a I do like when uh, That, that strays outside of my norm. The legal ability to drink, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm, oh. Below, I'm below that one right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so you said... It, tax it, it was what makes a girl a catch. Okay, so. tax that sense of humor. That's a big... Oh, ability to carry a conversation. I was going to say smart good. intelligence yeah. or yeah. something. Like, yeah, yeah. Be able to carry a conversation and I'm fine. So she's got to be loyal, smart... Funny be able and to hot. talk fuck like a minx. <laughs> we be able God to, damn it, we all belong in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and have the ability to speak English, apparently. That's all Jay needs. <laughs> oh, no, no. She can speak Spanish, too. I'm bilingual. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We didn't say that. Hi, That's Bobby. Uh, all right, next question. All right, this one's from Case, wait, Casey in Florida. Is sex in the shower overrated? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I actually don't have any experience. The, the sex water, in the, shower. The, I think the water, it's underrated. The, the shower sex, like though, it's great. You know, steamy. Oh, you think about it, it's like oh, it's just like in the commercials for Trojan, <laughs> like steam. No, if, what sucks is like the water washes away any lubrication she's producing, <laughs> and you end up having to like spit in your hand, and, like do this weird thing. Like, you have to do it like eight times, and like it's just not. That's what, that's what uh, the, the height, conditioners pool. for. The height. Oh, God, has- no, that burns their vaginas. Yeah, the height has to be right. It's you slip. Somebody ends up breaking a leg. The curtains come down. Yeah, no, fuck that shit. Fuck it in all its holes. Yeah, no, underrated. I don't have any experience with sex in the shower. You don't have sex in the shower, Ty? What, uh, what about our? I'm willing guests? to learn. If you're, what are you doing after this? Do you get dirty while you get clean? <laughs> I got this. Cool, I got this girl. What, what about our special like secret guest? Do you have anything about sex in the shower? No, it's great. Yeah, yeah, no, it's underrated <laughs> as far as it's I'm too, concerned. It, you fall down. <laughs> it's what? I mean, I just, I don't have coordination issues like that. No? I'm good. It just works? So I think, what, I think there is something that changed throughout. So when I was younger and I had like a little apartment in Cape Canaveral that yeah. was you know, a little hole in the wall, you couldn't have sex in that shower because it was so small. Now I've graduated. <laughs> I got a nice, nice size shower. I think it's underrated. I, I love it now. Is, have you gotten you? bigger since then? Has it? My belly certainly got well, bigger since then. Never mind. Just oh, you mean the work. size of the shower? Well, we try it out. <laughs> we, we tried that out. Oh, with tack. Let's go. Wait, what? Right. They're no. fine. There's enough people in here. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit, right, guys? Builds. Sure. What? What? No, but what about <laughs> swimming pool sex? Well, he was saying that, you know, takes away lubrication in the water. What about swimming pool sex? Because that's always important and stuff. And swimming pool sex isn't so great. <laughs> Yeah, because it washes hurts. all the way, all the lubrication. That hurts. <laughs> yeah. It's rough. I mean, it's fun. You get super horny. It's just fun because the whole fun of it. Right, right. But it's not what everyone says it is. Yeah, I just don't think, no... I, I don't think it's practical. I think that's what it is. It's more, it's nuanced. It's fun. Like, oh my God, it's so naughty. It's because you're outside. Yeah, but uh, uh, as far as like the practicality of it, I, I, I don't think Look so. Look at him. This little pervert, give him a microphone. He has it. He's carrying it. <laughs> yeah, this little stuff. pervert. Tell me stuff? Wait, yeah, who's yeah. the pervert here? I'm the pervert, so you tell him stuff. So you We're both sexual pervert. deviants, so. No, no, he needs to learn perversion. It's going on <laughs> So does that face. make me a sexual pragmatist? No, is no. That what, is that what the I The perversion on his face is priceless. I need to hear this. I mean, I already said I enjoy having sex in the shower. Well, then that's, no, why that's, I'm that's why I'm And I like having sex outside. It's also fun. <laughs> oh no, sex outside is fantastic. It's in the pool where it gets yeah, no. Sex outside yeah, with Corey? nature. <laughs> is that a bear? Are you on your period? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw some sand in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number six, Amanda in Florida. Are guys really afraid of commitment? No, uh, she it all depends. Still room full. <laughs> it, it all depends on the situation. Uh, there was a time where I was, um, and I absolutely did not and was not looking for a relationship at all until I met my girl now. And I was like pretty much single for like six years. Um, I tried it a couple of times, but they didn't last very long. Um, but now I'm not 
I'm not afraid of commitment with my girlfriend right now. Aw, so. Prince Tack. Prince Tack. <laughs> well, I already know Adam's not afraid of commitment. No, I'm not afraid of commitment at all. I, not anymore. I, I mean, really, yeah, it's all, it all matters who's, who, the, who the girl is that you're potentially going to be committed to. Yeah. If she's committable, then I'd be afraid, but no. But you're the super sweetest, sappiest love muffin. I world. got a reputation to uphold. Oh, Don't let these oh. guys know that. Take that out. Wait, you're not the pussy destroyer? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like my my game name? He's the boss. He's pussy slayer. I say yes, sir, all the time and call him the boss. What's going on? Whoa, what happened? That was an accident, sorry. No, that's all right. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I was afraid for a long time, but that's just because I was burnt in my last real serious relationship. Now I'm at the point where... Uh, I'm not scared of commitment. It, the The idea of committing doesn't scare me, but I'm not ready for it. Like, I'm not, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm at a point where I would, you know, I, I could pick up and move any minute right now. And I like, I, I kind of need that freedom. Not that I would ever leave you guys here at the podcast. Oh, I, I stay, yeah, I, we already, uh, now it's too late. I we'll we'll live Skype you in. But no, but like, let's say I get an opportunity to like move out to LA and do something, or I get an opportunity to move out to New York and do something. You're like, gonna just leave us. Just up and leave us. Like I, that. I'll Skype in. Somebody's gotta use that phone number. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good call. Nobody's called. Speaking of that, we need to talk about that on the show as well. That's a good point. point. But I'm, I'm not gonna enter into a committed relationship and, you know, be, I, I, I can't do that. Like, I'm not at a point in my life where I can make somebody and prioritize somebody. It, it, it's Until just that. Some a, girl comes along, she's going to sweep you off your feet, and I'm going to be like, who the heck is this guy? Because you're going to walk in like. No, no, I'm actively avoiding. She's going to use yeah. the show no, as J101, by the way. You walk in yeah. looking like that, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, Jay, she's the one. <laughs> Whenever this happens. Yeah, and that, yeah. 20 she, years from now. Well, 20 two years from now, it's a whole different now. story. I'm talking about today. Today, I, so today, I, I can't do could it. Could be two weeks, could be 20 years. You never know. All right, I pussy think, slayer. I think, I think <laughs> guys are more afraid of like planned commitment. Like to me, it's like the way I see it is like if you go out looking for something, like look at your look, like looking for a relationship, you have a hole, like a void that you're trying to fill. So you're willing to settle at that point. And I think that it's the person that comes along. When you're not looking, that makes you realize there's a void. Like, you know, someone that like comes along is like, oh wow, this person's fucking awesome. Like, I need to tie right, them right, down. Right. That's better than when you're out like, yeah. hey, like, oh, I fucking need a girlfriend. Like, right about yeah, now, you that's know. Exactly right. Awesome answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love that. Prince Connor. Prince Pussy <laughs> I was Slayer. Just about to say he's now the prince. <laughs> the disease. Prince, prince Pussy Connor, Slayer. You have Pussy. now been crowned <laughs> a prince. You are a true gentleman. <laughs> Pussy Slayer. Only because <laughs> Pussy was taken. <laughs> All right, number seven is from Natalie in Wyoming. I've heard that guys are insecure about dirty talk in the bedroom. Is this true? And how do guys feel about girls talking dirty in bed? A uh, total turn on. Yeah, yeah I want to feel the I want to feel the back of your throat with the tip of my cock. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's no, bring it on. I don't know. I kind of like the whole like you know. The uh, whole daddy aspect, that's a good thing for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we all, yeah, we all know I love a woman with daddy issues, so yeah, that's totally <laughs> all right with me. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the, that kind of talk is a very big turn on to me, too. Different folks, different strokes, that's all that is. Like, some, some guys aren't Ooh, into it. Strokes. I'm totally down for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm down with it either way. Stroke it long mm-hmm. and stroke it hard. Hi, your mother, Trebek. <laughs> My day has come. The first part of the question is, um, they've heard guys are insecure about dirty talk. Is this true? Insecure I, about it? No. About yeah, doing no. it themselves. I don't know. Oh, oh. I thought you meant like, you know, some I mean, girl's like, oh, no, your dick is so no. big. And you're like, stop. No, yeah, I mean, you're always, <laughs> self, you're always self-conscious about it at first because you don't know Shut if that's going to turn her off. You don't know what she's into. So, like, if I, you know, if I was just to, like, you know, it's like choking in bed. You don't you don't want to just go to that move because you might be committing a felony. So you got to do like toes in the water. Like every now and again, yeah. just let out a little fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, like, see where that gets you. Yeah. So yeah. If, like, if that gets you like a little like, like if she turns her head choking. back and looks at you with a little look, you're like, okay, good. All right, it's like, duh, I love your pussy. And then like and she's like, what? You're like, fuck. Yeah. All right, it's like stop. Yeah. But she's yeah. like, yeah. but she's like, yeah. she replies like, oh yeah. You're like, all right, cool. Green light. I, let me think of some other sick shit to say. Yeah. <laughs> or let me just state the obvious real loud while I do it. Yeah, you like me fucking your pussy. Well, obviously she likes it. She's doing it. Like, 
I don't want to wear your underwear. Like, what? <laughs> Nothing else, stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I'm just trying to get creative. I'm trying, trying, to, <laughs> trying new stuff. It's a dumb and dumber Wouldn't reference. Seem now. like a comedy show, I would think. I'm trying to picture a guy saying stuff like that. You can go ahead and do it. Let's try it and let's do it. And yeah, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. I'm not, yeah. I'm not you need to tell pass. me the dirtiest hardcore stuff you can possibly say, and let's see how that goes. Are we doing this? I now? don't enjoy you crying during sex. Oh, I want to yeah. fuck you in a graveyard so the spirits can watch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you do? What the fuck? I didn't say creepy. I want to deflower and desecrate at the same time. I would love to spend oh. an entire night I'm... disrespecting your body. Is that what <laughs> Amber Alert likes? <laughs> 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 On the mic, That's how it. Amber Alert became Amber Alert. Mm. <laughs> I can hear you. That was for you. All right. It's your Ford Focus. <laughs> Last one, number eight from Stacy in Florida. How do you feel about women who get plastic surgery or even Botox to change slash enhance their appearance? Oh, God. Stacy. I think we got a question real similar to this once before. Did we? Yeah. A long time ago. I'm Old sure house. questions are hmm. going to be similar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I mean, I can understand if you're like a mom and you get like a, like a, I guess a lift or whatever. I'm not sure what it's called. I, I, I can understand that. I see that, but oh, I don't. Are you referring to breast augmentation? Yeah, yeah, augmentation. That's what I was looking at. Hmm. But as far as like getting implants or Botox, be comfortable in your own. To me, the sexiest thing is a woman who's comfortable in her own skin. That is a huge, yeah. uh, yeah, that co- no. it's like a woman wants a guy with confidence. You know what? Shit, I want a woman with some confidence too. Agreed. Right? That's a really good statement. Totally on that. So Prince your Jay. stretch marks from childhood. Oh. No, she'll never call me Prince Jay. <laughs> what? What'd you say? You call your your stretch marks from having a baby your tiger stripes. Battle wounds. Damn right. Hey, shit, uh-huh. go for it. I got one time as pretty as tiger stripes makes you a kitty cat. Oh, that's, that's what makes you a cougar. I just got we it. We figured it out. Yeah, your tiger stripes. Crack that code. <laughs> <laughs> We're all it's actually her. pretty funny. What, what qualifies a cougar as a cougar? The tiger stretch marks stripes. or tiger or tiger stripes? Tiger stripes. God damn it. Yeah, oh. I, feel, I feel like if I'm with a woman, I'm going to accept you no matter what you look like. That's And if you're confident about it, I can understand having some mild insecurities. That's fine. But that's where it's my job to make you feel okay about them. And take it away, Adam. <laughs> Spot on. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I fucking, cool. Hey, you're you turned it off. Oh. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Yay. No, I'm cool with like uh like surgery and stuff. The only thing that really fucking annoys me is when these women get like the Botox in their lips. Mm-hmm. And like I see all over Instagram, like all these girls I follow are like, you know, rotate like they're like videotaping themselves through their selfie camera, like slowly rotating their face back and forth while raising their eyebrows, like Look, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to act promiscuous, but really they're just trying to show off their lips. It's like, you look like a <laughs> fucking duck. Like whenever I see like there's giant inflated lips, all of you either look like a, like a transvestite or a duck. Like immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like Botox at all. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I want to point yeah. out, I don't think, I don't think plastic surgery <laughs> is a turn off. If a woman got it because, you know, she really felt bad about how she looks and okay, that's fine too. Be comfortable with it. I'm not saying it's a turn off, but I do appreciate that 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 comfort. I just wanted to clear that up before I started getting hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Unless her titties are touching the waistline, then you know. depends on who you're doing it for. <laughs> Some guys like that, you know, <sighs> with the Same. breast blending with the belly. If yeah. you're doing it for yourself, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's awesome. Power to you. If you're doing it for yourself because it's for you, yes, that's for you. Yes. If you're doing it for someone else, do not do it. One hundred percent. Yes. Absolutely. No, but you know what? That it comes down to like every girl who's ever got their tits done. It's like, why'd you do it? I just want to feel better in low cut <laughs> shirts. It's like bullshit. You did it because like you want guys to be like, oh fuck yeah, I want to jerk off on those. No, like, no, yeah. it's not for the guy. It's for the girls. So girls will be like, oh, you guys are so true. pretty. That's why girls get all dolled up and get makeup and all that. What makes me not believe it is when I have to see them. I almost know so many things just from Instagram. Guys don't notice it. Girls get pretty for each other. See, it kind of like I feel like you know, like the whole it's for me. Then why am I like seeing so many fucking increased cleavage shots on your Instagram? (laughs) If it's for you, why do you have like an extra hundred and fifty likes on all your pictures now? Because then they feel pretty. Because then I need to follow his uh, his followers. Or I need to follow who he Connor, follows. It's Just because go do a 150 naked dating show. Like her. <laughs> I don't think I would get the same. Like her, right. That makes her feel prettier. Fan gotcha. mail is you. Gotcha. Makes sense. If 100 people like you, then you're prettier. So then she feels better. Right? Yeah. Which then comes down to like other people's perception of her. So right. it's no longer but it was for her. her. Yeah. 
for her to have 150 people like her picture. That's a good, <laughs> okay. good diary for this week, good Andrea. Diary. Yeah, we appreciate that. And to all the girls that emailed in, do we have any questions that we want to reverse diary on her out of those? Uh, I can't think of anything. Any of the questions, Connor, that, she, that Andrea just asked us, we can turn back on her and get an honest answer out of a out of a female. Well, technically, I've been talking about every single one of them. What makes it it's good? true. Wait, an honest oh, statement from a that's female. That's a great one. Josh added in what makes. We're going to reverse diary this question. What are the four qualities that make a guy a good catch? Ooh, good one. A, de- a recently deceased dog. It's nice that you guys had <laughs> five in own house. people to answer it yep, with you. It's all you. Well, you have Ginger, too. <laughs> all right, so just give us the one then. We all gave one. Give one. She's just going to say an Adam quality. <laughs> no, they're all good qualities. They just share she's, them she's with She's like, well, um, Adam, what color are your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> His a name gentleman. has to be Adam. A uh, gentleman. Being a gentleman. Having some chivalry. A true def- definition of gentleman is making everyone around them feel as comfortable as possible. I think that's a great quality is that no matter where they are, who they're with, everyone around that person feels comfortable. That, that actually right. is an Adam quality. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Say Prince Tech. <laughs> it says Prince Tech. Yes, Adam's. I don't. I think Adam's still in a gesture. No, baby, you're gesture. the king. I'm the uh, king. Wow, you yeah. went from gesture or uh, not yeah. gesture, or leper. I you went from po- leper to leper king. to king. <laughs> wow, I pulled the sword out of the. St- All right. Anyway, um, I want that baby soon. <laughs> Why'd you look at me when you said Dude, that? that was creepy. You looked right at Tad. Oh, <laughs> I want your baby. I want that baby. <laughs> I'm not my baby. You know, we talk you into it. Put oh. that baby batter in my oven and bake a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like the kitty cat? All right, well, let's get oh. out of here. Um, Connor, how can uh, how can our listeners follow you? What are your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, social media tags? Uh, my Twitter is Connor Hughes, C-O-N-N-O-R-H-U-G-H. Yes, at um, and then it's just VH1 after no space, and then my Instagram is same thing, Connor Hughes, but it has an underscore and then VH1. Sweet, all right, cool. Uh, Josh, do you have anything you want to plug? No, okay, just your mama. <laughs> 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 oh, I get it. Like he wants to fuck her. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny. Like it's intercourse. It's funny. I get it because it's, it's sex. sex. I thought sex. we were talking about playing Christmas lights because it's Christmas time. That's what we. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> Glad you're on board. <laughs> Here's the joke. Have a seat wherever you like. Jay, what do you got? You got some shows coming up? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got a full list this week. Uh, this is probably gonna air after it, but I'll put it out there. Uh, Tuesday night, I will be at Patty Cassidy's in Cocoa Beach. Uh, Wednesday night, I will be headlining at Hogan's Irish Bar in Cocoa Beach. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I will be hosting at Gregory's Comedy Club for Jose Sarduy. And uh, Sunday night, I will be at the Kilted Mermaid in Via Road. God Beach. damn, you have a busy schedule. Wow. Yeah. All right. Life of a stand up. Just what saying. Is it? You want to help my. I'm sponsoring a show with. Oh, that's my, right. With Ray. With Brent Allen Salon on Friday. Oh, you're looking for me to take it over? I don't remember. It's the ladies' the comedy date. thing. The dates. Hang on. No, oh, that's. Dates uh, help yeah, out. that's this Friday. That's going to be this Friday. I want to say it's the. Is that old school? Old time? Yeah, it's old school pizza midtown. Uh, yeah, I'll help plug this show. Old school pizza Thanks. midtown Friday night is the all ladies comedy show. Uh, it is uh Ray Brito's production. I don't know who's hosting it though. He's got a. I, it might be Paige Pisanza, but I'm not a hundred. The name sounds familiar. I think that's who he said um, it was. But yeah, it's uh it's gonna be an awesome show. A bunch of female, uh, bunch of the lady comics here in Brevard County and Orlando coming out. It's gonna be a really good show. And, and sponsored with by my, with my uh, salon, I'm giving out prizes, and I've also we're a Paul Mitchell salon, and they have given me a whole bunch of goodies and samples to give out to all the audience members that are there. Nice. So oh, I know Paul Mitchell. There, he's from uh, he's from the Zohan movie. Yes. So next time you have a shower, <laughs> he makes sex. everybody silky smooth. <laughs> They're very into helping everyone, and they have given me a whole bunch of products to give out to anyone who shows up. So come on very out, good. listen to some fun stuff, get some free products, enjoy some great food and drink. Well, awesome. be, I was about to say it'll be like finger foods and stuff because like, you want to no, do it's what? Pizza. Depends That's on what disgusting, you eat Connor, it with. and I don't approve of that. At finger all. foods. <laughs> it all depends on what you eat <laughs> it with. Uh, all right, Tack. How can they get a hold of us? I think get a hold of us at uh, let's see on Twitter. You can get all of us at Podcarious. At Podcarious at on there. At Podcarious. And, of course, Facebook. And uh, we don't have an Instagram. Maybe we should. We don't even do anything with Twitter. we got to start actually I, I doing something. I posted on Twitter just today. Did you? I'm supposed to yeah. learn how to do that stuff. With oh, you. they yeah. also can get all of us at our phone number. 
Oh, shit, that's Talk right. What's the number? We have a phone, phone number. number. We have yeah, a phone that's number right. now. Are we'll you post. Are all this out because we sound like a bunch of stupid blonde chicks? <laughs> what? Uh, sound like a bunch of daisies? Wait. Hang on, let me find the number. <laughs> Okay, so, right, we, so we haven't... Go ahead, go ahead. No, you take it. No, you take it. No, no, go ahead. I, no, you take it. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. both of you just kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can call into the studio now live during recordings. Uh, the area code is 321-392-0595. Yes, it doesn't spell anything, and that was the nicest sounding number we could find. So that's what we went with. Uh, call in live during the show or call leave us a voice message if you want us to play something that you said or want us to participate with. And that's the show. typically uh, Monday nights between like 9 and midnight, usually. Yeah, usually that's we'll our post, time. Follow us on the uh, social media and then uh, we'll let you know. If you want to email a question in for the diary or just to talk with any one of us, send it to show at livingpodcuriously.com. Uh, I think that's it. That's it, God, man. There's this girl on my Instagram and her eyes are like way too far apart. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end so on that's that. a bad thing. <laughs> But yes. close together is too bad. I don't know. Her forehead's big too, so it's like it really. Just so adds. where are your eyes, your forehead supposed to be? So stay tuned next week to hear the answer to this <laughs> question it's a on whole, the diary. It's like one of those. You won't believe what happened next Number week on Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> All right, guys. Are your eyes too close together? Are Thanks they too for. Far oh, her eyes are too far apart. All right, we're gonna end right there. Find Fine. out the proper proportions and inches that you need to measure, girl. See you guys next week on Living Pot Carriers. <laughs> yeah. Bye. See? Have a great week. They're bad. Lega. <laughs> no, I was a complete monster when I was in the army. Shit, I was in the army during the during the initial war in Iraq. I was like, "Listen, I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it back." <laughs> if, I got, if I got paid to be a slut, I'd do it. No, That's paying. prostitution, That's sweetie. See, what I did was I was just like, listen, I'm going to be stationed in Bora Bora for three weeks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be back. Uh, I, <laughs> a dick. All right. I would have been a slut if I had gone to Bora Bora, but it didn't happen. So. Stolen valor, kind of. They're like BDUs and stuff. People were like, so where's your service? Bora Bora, the Cold War. <laughs> the patches is Pussy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at our at our Halloween party, we had um, Ms. Daisy joined us for our Halloween party, as well oh, as okay. our other guests that remain nameless at this point. But no. anyway, Daisy... Not Kiana? Not, no, not Kiana. The other guest, not Kiana. <laughs> Daisy told me a story at that, which kind of triggered the entire purpose for me to want to have a, a one-night stand Wait, kind were, of story. You were there? Yes. What were you dressed as? A scarecrow. Oh, uh, Were you standing shit, like, really still? Because yeah. I probably... <laughs> <laughs> like if you were out in the cornfield, I probably completely ignored you. <laughs> oh, it worked. If you had oh been d- dressed as Dorothy, you would have seen her. Oh wait, did I you take it. a picture with the two dudes, the two people that showed up, actually as crows? No. That would have been an awesome picture. <laughs> oh, I thought I that know, was. I, you left I left when before they that. Like, I could have oh. been the Tin Man. On there Mike. were actual birds that showed up. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's picture. funny. I missed it. Andrea, I gotta <laughs> speak on the mic if you're gonna talk about it. There I'm you sorry. go. No, it's all right. So anyway, yeah, I'm, excited this, I'm excited to hear this. I'm excited to hear the story it. because Adam's been talking about it. For Adam weeks, has not shut up. Yeah, but he won't. He won't tell us a story. Yes, I have not stopped hearing about it since the party, and I've been dying to hear. All right, so Daisy, let's get this first. You're single. Let's let's qualify you to our our audience a little bit. You're single. Your, if you want to say your age, twenty, 22. young twenties. All right, twenty two, um, baby, living in Brevard County, Florida. We all know that's one night stand capital of the world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because everybody dies with a meth overdose by the next morning. That's like. a good point. <laughs> and uh, your cho- place of uh, uh, your preference of places to go out is like the Melbourne, Cocoa Village, those yeah. types of areas. Maybe so, a little bit of Orlando. So way to give yeah. out all the information for the future stalkers. That's right. <laughs> right. They're gonna come find me. We're not. Wait, don't worry. We won't put a picture up there of you. They're well, they're screaming. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. They'll 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 recognize you by voice too. You'll be like, oh, and like there she is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for your story, let's set the location roughly. It's just like a downtown. It was Melbourne. Downtown Melbourne location. All right. Mm-hmm. So. You and your girlfriends go out, and your goal is just to go out and have a good time and maybe meet some new people, right? That's the intention at the beginning of the night, right? Yeah. A friend that was visiting, she was talking to this guy, and that's how I met I met his friend. 
Okay. So that's so where it all started. A friend of a friend. It always starts with a, a with a, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, God. The guy, so I will spoil one thing. The guy is not the problem in the story. He's actually, I mean, he's a scumbag for some things, but he's a, it's a good, it's a normal guy. He's a normal guy. He's actually a okay. lawyer too, so he had money. Lawyer. <laughs> That's why I made you, uh, give me that verbal release of your audio <laughs> yeah. tonight. You're so right, you're right. I don't get sued. Um, no, all right. So, uh, take us through a little bit. How did you meet him and how long did it take for you guys to really work up the, the chemistry between the two of you in the club? I mean, how did, how did that go down? I mean, I was pretty drunk when I, I guess it, it started. Um, <laughs> Kind Always of a all time. a blur. <laughs> that would be roofies. Were you at a party? Or oh, so no, we were at the bar. Just at so a bar, right? was the bar. Yeah. Right. So I guess after a couple <laughs> more drinks, <laughs> we were making out in the bar. Oh yeah. Know. All right, taking it up in the bar. A little PDA <laughs> with a brand new guy. That's kind of cool. Was he a good looking guy? He was Scale a him. Lawyer. Eh, that doesn't he mean he's look like, good looking. He wasn't like the greatest looking guy. I give him like a was seven. He, was like on a scale of seven. one to Ryan Reynolds, where was he? <laughs> <laughs> How many like, drinks did he buy you? Honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't know. Sponsor. <laughs> and did he buy your friends drinks? That I do not remember either. Oh, you never ignore the friends. That's the number one know. rule. You never like ignore said, the friends. It was a crazy night. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't care what she looks like. It was like, hello, beautiful ladies. <laughs> 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 Would you guys like a drink? <laughs> All right, so take us to the point where he made, I assume he made a move, or did you make the move? How did it, how did it go down to make the decision to want to go back to a mutual location? Well, at first I didn't want to go back with him. I was like, no, this is a bad idea. I probably shouldn't. So he asked you, he said, hey, you yeah, want to like, go back to my place? Yeah, like, do you want to come back to my place? So it was and a then... weak dose of roofies. Got I it. I swear <laughs> I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he drove, which is, I don't know why I got in the car with him, which is absolutely insane of me. Uh, we went back to his house. Girls are always like, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've never I done why. this before. I know why. I don't know. You're 22 and you can. I guess. Oh no, we're I totally not. Yeah, reason. we're totally not judging you for this. I mean, I'm, I'm just as big on. You were 22 once. Yeah, uh, you <laughs> understand. I was still 22 the, on some websites. You got to be careful though, because like, there's two types of guys out there. There's normal guys, and then there's like serial killers. That's there's guys. <laughs> Like, you gotta be careful what car you're getting because there's guys that want to jizz on your face and guys that want to wear your face. <laughs> that's a good point. Thank you. That's a very good point. Yeah, as very soon as point. you get into the car, the first question, would you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she asked him? Wait, I'm confused. All, all the I'm wild saying. horses are playing as soon as the car starts. <laughs> um, so, so you've made the decision to go back to his place. Yes. All right. So let's paint it a little bit further. Lawyer is what you found out during your, you know, between kissing him at the bar time periods. Yeah. So lawyer, usually stereotypically pretty well off guys. He'd have a decent car, pretty nice. Yeah, and he had a nice ass house too. Uh, see, there you go. <laughs> All right. All working out so far. So when you get in the, his house, when you pull up to his house, his like mom isn't there or something. It's actually no, no. his place. It's just, it's his place. Uh, okay. That's good. All good signs so far. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, oh, uh, did he have kids, pets? He had a dog. He had a dog. dog. Had a oh, dog. okay. We really, have a dog. Really cute dog. He was not nearly oh, as cute as our, dog. our dog Oliver. <laughs> You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Podcariously studio in world-famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. Welcome to Living Podcariously. Zach, we have a hell of a studio this week, buddy. We do. Oh <laughs> I'm just God. saying. This is it's a been con- a while since we have this many people in c- Controlled chaos a little bit. Um, I'm one of your hosts. My name is Adam. Sitting next to me. I am Tack. Sitting across in the wrong spot, all the way on the other side. Oh. I'm Andrea Joy. And the usual spot. I'm Jay Alvarez. All right, and we've got a few guests in studio with us this week. Uh, first off the bat, let's introduce for a special interview that we're going to do later in the show, Mr. Connor Hughes. Hey. What's up? <laughs> he's, he's an old friend. <laughs> he's I so missed timid. Him. <laughs> I, I feel like I have to at least do this once while I'm here. Oh. Okay, let's do it. He touched my penis with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, old school. That's from the old show I days. 
I use that intro as one of the, that clip as one of our intros to one of our episodes. Nice. But um, I feel bad because we have girls in the studio. Yes, we do. And I feel like they've been getting ignored. I feel like they're the safest people in the studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave them my lady chase. So let's hear it for the girls. That's right. Sitting right. on our lady chase tonight is we're going to go with Daisy. Hello, tonight. hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I'm and good. this is her first time on a podcast. Mm, virgin. <laughs> Ooh, look how slow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want your name to be actually used, but we have another member in the studio that's or an, another guest that's a in the studio watching. Guest. She's not yeah. even on the, on the mic. No, she's not so. mic'd up. Just another uh, friend of the show. And then also, my boy Josh is, is sitting in with also us. Also, not mic'd. So, yeah, also not mic'd. Can't say Kiana? But. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, she okay, said no. Well, way, to, way to put her name on blast. Covers. She didn't want it on And that's why we have the okay, five seconds Kiana of silence, folks. She's is not here. <laughs> Everyone ignore that. She's not here. <laughs> okay. Kiana, if, you, uh, if you want that edited out, I can Kiana Ramey out. is not here. No, we should have called her Kiki Vanilla. It's a different Kiana Ramey. <laughs> oh, God, that's such a of. great name. <laughs> Kiki Vanilla is here. Kiki Vanilla. That makes me want to be like a you strip club DJ all over Kiki again. Just so I could say that name. I know, I should have... Kiki and Vanilla. Next All right, stage. fellas, get those singles waving. All right. <laughs> hey, yo, Kiki. Kiki, can't you just say hi? Oh. <laughs> just say hi. Oh, God. I have her tethered. Don't worry. She pushed the mic away, maybe because it's black. And that's what the hand- <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the handcuffs. Do we have for. a white microphone? <laughs> <laughs> she she prefers white only microphone. Oh no, never. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So. L- did he immediately turn on the action at, at the house, or did he like wine and dine you a little bit more there? Get some champagne, get some wine, no, some, maybe some Mario. Kart. It was more like drunken, immediate. Immediately like, too. Yeah, it happened as soon as we got there. And he's nice. older than you. Yeah, I'm guessing. I think he was like, like a lot older. Yeah, I think he was like thirty. He didn't 30. even try like. To... Whoa, 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 whoa! No, whoa. actually, I think can we, thirty. <laughs> can we ease up on the a lot I'm sorry, older? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Eight too. years older is older than her. Thirty would be a lot older. I actually think he was like thirty three. I God. think. Damn it! But he didn't like Fucking offer senior you a drink citizen. when you walked in. What no. the fuck? What a whore! <laughs> Not you, him. Into the mic, into the mic, baby. Um. All right. So just right straight to it. Let, let's let's test something first. Was he, you know, at least wearing protection? Is that? Yes. All right. That's a good sign. That's that's good. That's always yes. a good rule of a one night stand. <laughs> that's that's good. You can't leave be the evidence behind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, before we go further, did you know this was going to be a one night stand kind of deal, or were you hoping that there could potentially be more with him later? He's a lawyer. She I was mean, hoping there'd be more. Maybe a little bit. Like, be cool if like we kept talking afterwards. But he was know? only a, he was only a seven out of ten. So he should yeah, say, like eh, wouldn't really hurt her feelings if there was. Honestly, like in Florida, like a seven's like pretty good. Like yeah. Yeah. if you've ever been to L.A., like everybody's a. 10, so when you come back here, listen, it's like a 7. Listen to Connor. If you've ever been to <laughs> LA. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real? It's like, How I'm, used to, I'm used to walk around in Florida and it's like, you know, like being like a moderately attractive dude. I'm just like, yeah, this is, is all right. But like when you go to LA and like everybody is like a Chad, like yeah. every, everybody's got washboard Fucking abject. Chad. Suddenly I need to like actually like, like, you know, step it up a little bit. Like, hi, yep. my, I'm Connor. This is why I'm interesting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but as a successful 7, that automatically bumps you up in Brevard that County. That is true. He's like, no. I mean, you can, oh, have, all, oh, boy, you can have all your teeth in Brevard County. He's and a be, successful, yeah. has his own job, doesn't look his parents, has his own car, license, all that. So the seven and looks bumps up to like at least like an eight. There's eight a catch. Now. I'm love, sure there's a catch coming up. I love how you guys all amount a, like success to just not living with your parents. <laughs> yeah. Like, welcome welcome, welcome to Brevard. Nice. Like, meanwhile, Josh just picked me up from my dad's place. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll be going home to sleep in my dad's garage. <laughs> wow, I'm that must be a, like a ten. <laughs> I live on my own. Yeah, you're, but you're, you've got an asterisk. You're a ginger ten. It's a little uh, different. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> all what right, does so that make me? let's focus a ginger twelve. Um, all right, so let's focus it's back on, on one the night lawyer one night stand. So, okay. how was the sex? I mean, because you guys are already there. Was it good sex? How was how was the experience? Honestly, Take me it this. wasn't really that great of sex. So like no foreplay, no. It was a little bit, but I feel like I just wanted it to be over. Like I was kind of like done. I was drunk. I was like <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to go to sleep. Like, oh, gotcha. like it was just I wasn't feeling it. You know what? I missed a, a pretty important part of this story. What yep. was? Wh- how were you dressed? What was your attire? I had mm. on wedges. 
and wait, just that means nothing to guys. We don't know what that means. Like heels. I was wearing oh, heels. heels. I oh, pictured okay. you wearing blocks of cheese. Yeah. Hi. My <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. So that's, sinewy. That's got that wheezy laugh. <laughs> I, got the, I got the old man laugh going. Oh. In about twenty minutes, you're gonna start dancing like a prospector. <laughs> it takes only one oh. fellatio joke, and he's gone. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. Uh, I'm like, it's like a dad laugh. <laughs> All right, I want to start <laughs> off the conversations tonight on a pretty interesting topic. So we're going to go right. to a little bit of one night stand talk. So honest. let's first find out out of the out of the cast, the normal cast in the studio, one night stands. Tack, have you ever had a one night stand? Do you have any crazy stories uh, from it or anything like that? I do. I'm trying to think of. You better not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no you comment. swore this was a secret. I know Zach probably listened to this, so I'm not going to talk about you and I. Um, let's see here. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember what the, which story. Can we come back? Because I, I was trying to decide between. Oh, it's just a yes or no me. question, man. I'm sweet and innocent. Oh, you don't want to hear the none. story? Okay, then yeah, I've had one. <laughs> sweet. Jay? All right. Jay, what about you, bud? Uh, I'm sure I spent a drunken night or two that I don't totally recall. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, that, that's your story? That's it? Yeah, it, it's a drunken night that I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm I've, 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 I've taken part in some walks of shames in my life. <laughs> I, I feel like a little mini missy good two shoes. Wait, what's the word? Good, good little goody two goody shoes. Goody two shoes, yeah. Yeah, no, I was so... I don't have yeah. any of those. I believe in love and and when you give it up, then... Can you, you get closer on the mic? When you give it up, you give it to someone good. I don't know why Connor has it right next to his penis. So, so, <laughs> get closer. so of the hundred guys that I've given it up to, you guys were all very, very special. <laughs> all right. What uh, about you, Adam? Yeah, yeah. I've had a one night stand one or, once or twice, but nothing, nothing that's kind of crazy story. So I was starting to look up some stories um, about one night stands and crazy shit, but you can find just about anything on the internet. Um, Interesting studies, 70% of Americans have had a one night stand. But That's only not interesting. This is, Ameri- only, this is America. This is home of the Whopper. That's what, not interesting. This kind of falls in line with Andrea a little bit. Only 44% of them will actually admit to it if questioned by friends or family. I would totally Prudes. admit to it. I wish I had one to tell. I would totally make it up right now, but. I mean, just don't I, have one. I can't, I can't like avoid. I mean, like on any video game or like my gamer tag and stuff. Uh, my name on every game is Pussy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a one night stand? But like, but like oh Pussy Slayer is always taken, so I have to do like P U Z Z Y, like Pussy Slayer. <laughs> no, you know what the sick part is? Pussy Slayer is taken by like some ten year old kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, I hope my mom doesn't see my gamer tag. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't even realize what it is. He's just that future serial killer that's killing cats all over the neighborhood. <laughs> like, Pussy <laughs> I, I just find it hard to believe that none of you guys have a one night stand story. No, 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 no. I do. Yeah. Well, yeah, we didn't say we I, have I stories. We I believe in love too. I don't do that. <laughs> no, I was. A you com- were dating naked. 